Wow, Ethan, great movie. Everybody around the world. It is January 24th, 2024. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for being here. Today we have a phenomenal episode. That, that is my guarantee to you. And if you don't like it, if you don't like today's episode, you can charge back YouTube for the membership. I don't like it. <laughs> you always have that option. I mean, it's kind of a risk-free proposition. If you want to try becoming a member, come. And then if you're not happy with the membership, you can charge back YouTube. I don't it's like it. It's like a free refund. But we can't guarantee that. Do you do that a lot? We could try it. No, you, well, you, I don't know. I think that they would get the money back. Most likely, I mean, but... you'd have to commit fraud, but it's like not that much money, so... I thought it was free! A you know little, I mean? little bit of fraud. It's, li yeah, I mean, it's, it's, no, it's obviously fraud, but it's just mm -hmm. not that much money. I thought it was free! Not much fraud. Yeah, it's not that much fraud. It's a, it's a, a touch of fraud. That's not fraud! My career. A touch of fraud. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> anyway, we have Jeff Wittick coming in to give me... The long-awaited, low-tapered fade. Wow. Okay. Um, it's gorgeous. My hair's getting pretty long, so now's the time. A lot of people were saying, oh, you said you were going to grow out your hair. That's true. I did say that, but I didn't foresee the ninja of low tapered fade meme happening. <laughs> and so I have to seize the moment, people. Mm -hmm. Yep. I have to seize it. <coughs> it's true. So also we are here to announce the long awaited, the highly anticipated, the, <sighs> the tour de force. This is the H3 Bachelor Season 2 starring Jeff Wittick. He's coming in. Everybody knows that. Season 2? Two? Two, two. Season 3, I said. You said 2. You said 2. Season 3. I said 3 in my head. In oh. your out loud, it was it was different <laughs> yeah, than that. Yeah. I definitely was thinking as I said it. This is the third one. <laughs> I can't always be, a, you know, I can't predict what comes out of my mouth. Uh -huh. Only what's in my That's brain. True. This is the third season, and the first two seasons, without overanalyzing it, resulted in two romantic, uh, long-lasting romantic partnerships. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, so I have no reason to believe that the third one, starring our dear friend Jeff Wittick, would be any different at all. But we have so much to discuss. He's coming in at 2 o'clock, and, you know, I'll be schmoozing with my barber. You know? As you do. As you do. So we got all kinds of fun stories to get to, though. Also, we're going to burn our Stanley Cups today. There's no rain. There's no clouds. There's lots of clouds. Why are it, you lying? It was not cloudy. It's when cloudy. Outside. Sorry, crazy? it's not cloudy. It's mm. a pretty nice day outside. Dan is oh, doubting my oh. weather credentials. Hmm. I Dude. am Mr. Weather. <laughs> it's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. You forget who I am. Dan is walking to the window. He can't see the sky, he says. Bro, he says it is not raining. Clouds. What precip chance of precipitation? Zero. Zero percent. Now zero. Two, zero, three, zero, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, zero percent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So we're going to burn those motherfuckers today. And I don't think they're going to, I don't think they're going to make it. I don't think either one of them's going to make it. Burn and burn and burn. So, but we'll see. It's going to be fun. Also, I learned about Stanley Cups. Apparently they have lead in them. Allegedly. Which makes it a perfect complement to G Fuel. <laughs> yep. If you want to insert lead into your body. A lead... Gently. Which is highly unrecommended, by the way. But if you want a lead-free beverage, then I recommend Gamer Subs. Yeah. That's very good. What is this thing? Someone did like a lead swap test on it. 
Yeah. <laughs> and it tested positive for lead. Hold on, let me show it. And then um, so let me show it and then A B the you can run D for Stanley Cup. Sure. Cause I know you're a Stanley simp. No, I know you Not got the at facts. all. I spent all break talking shit about it to my niece. Oh, for real? I thought didn't you guys buy one? No, this this was the one that I have is my niece's. It just didn't come in time. So we ordered oh, another one for her. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Stanley is leaded. I'm going to also do a lead check swab to see if it is bioavailable, which I expect it is. It does have a bit of glue over it. So I cracked and cracked, and then I just slide open. Ah, sorry. Slide open the sleeve. Ah. Learn more at leadsafemama.com. You think this lady's wrong, lead safe mama? No. Come on. She seems I will edit this. She's pretty mother. invested in, yeah. in lead. Yeah. She doesn't, yeah. she doesn't seem very good at using lead this interest. instrument. Mama. I'm going to visit leadsafemama.com. I'm going to spend the time when you try to slide open the sleeve. time with this. There we go. There we go. Slide open the sleeve, and there's the yellow liquid. Okay. You put a little mama. bit of the yellow liquid on there, and we rub it. Stanley Cup, are you watching? And if it turns pink or red, which it is turning pink down in there. It's already turning pink. turning pink. And you can see it turning pink here. Oh, no. Um, that means that the lead is bioavailable. Leadsafemama.com. And if your child touched this, that they would be getting Mama. lead dust on their hands. Oh, that looks bad. What eh? we need to do is advocate that, is that the all of the straw hole. Lead I think she she drilled a hole through the bottom to test it. It looks. She like. said that she removed some glue. But okay, this so open. this is this like, is the bottom. So she's done something. She like popped it open. Yeah. yeah. I'm a bottom. Which is a fair test. I mean, I don't want lead in or outside of my drinking bed. I guess you know? the less lead, the better. You're right. But if it's like embedded in, a, in a, <laughs> such a way that it's not in any way interacting with the water, then it's well, I mean, listen, deal, right? there's going to be accidents where that brain where blood barrier breaks. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> right. You that know, happens. The Stanley brain barrier. So we prefer without lead. Here at leadsafemama.com. That's true. She's she wants that lead safe. Let Mama. me from kitchenware, especially <laughs> items that might be used by a child. There's no excuse for there to be lead in an item like this. Also, I want you to know the only uh, test kits that are re re um, reasonable and um, that work are the lead checks. They have a low threshold of detection of 600 parts per million. So that's lead checks. Here is Lead Safe Mama. I'm just curious about her her mission statement now. Le Mama. Lead Safe Mama's website menu button. Click here. Okay, let's click here. This is interesting. <laughs> it's just a button that says click here. All right, let's do it. Usually. Same yeah. website. Because you opened Amazon and it oftentimes shows private information. Oh, there was stuff. Yeah, there was definitely something up there. Oh, is it logged into something? Yeah. I think it just auto detects is the thing, even if you're not logged in. Oh. Okay. Oh, it showed an address. Yeah. Oh. That's not good. We got it, though. So nice we have the button. Oh. Like... And. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. That was the button that you just saw. They think the love, the, the, the lead got us. Our uh, <laughs> button screen was not activated, so it just showed a glitched out screen for uh, that. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. I'm on Lead Safe Mama's website. <laughs> She's got this great button here. It says Let's, web, well, Let's Safe Mama's website menu button. We click that and here it goes back here. <laughs> right. I'm gonna so she has Lead Safe Mama LLC Amazon affiliate links. I'm gonna open this um Ian. And then I'll zoom in. I'm curious what address did it show? This one? Is that what you were saying? Dave? Yeah, I can't see it from this angle. It's just though. a generic. It just says Okay. Delivering to Glendale. And a zip code that's not ours. I mean, okay. it's not even close to us. Fuck Glendale. We don't live in Glendale. Glendale's a lame. I just saw <laughs> Who's that. Glenn, I anyway? didn't know what was shown, and I hit the button. No, yeah. that's fair. That's good. Yeah, I'm that's fair. Scared. But this is interesting. She's saying the lead safe one. This is the one that I ride for. Is the hydro flask. Oh. So she's she, advocating. You think she's working for big hydro flask? She's. This is an affiliate code. Oh, yo, for real? Yeah, it says so here. She says she's upfront about. Oh, it. She's, she's corrupt. You think so? Well, she got it. She's doing the lead thing. She got to make, you know what I mean? She got to. Yeah. 
There's, Who's going to pay for those tit, those test strips? Yeah, it's an ad-free mm. page, Dan. <laughs> it you says ad-free. Same thing we went through with uh, Dr. Hids, and I don't know. I just feel like it it muddies the waters. I don't know if I can believe Lead Safe Mama anymore. Mama. Well, she's also testing. Here's, here's another affiliate code to a Lead Safe Mama affiliate link for the lead detector. Glowing lead test kit. Wow, she's just, she really is passionate about lead. Wow. You know, it'd be funny if she actually was the one eating lead. Because she's like, I'm passionate <laughs> about it, and I put a little bit in my wine every night. It improves the flavor. I'm the Romans knew that. <laughs> it's all different flavors. Some people hype, um, have theorized that the fall of, of Rome was in part affected by their massive amounts of lead consumption. Yeah, that I've they, heard that they, thrown out they had there lost their minds over time more that, and more. Does that have real historical, like, do, do historians back that, or is that more? Well, just like I know that like they did drink lead. Theories. Like, yeah, and they literally put lead in their drink. I am familiar with as like a sweetener or something. Yeah, sweetener. They right. loved lead. That's, they Historically, that's true. I guess and it's it was not a, hard to imagine that that would have an impact. <laughs> It was a highborn Roman thing too, so this should be affecting the, huh. the congressmen and the emperors and such. Right. Highborn Romans sipped beverages cooked in lead vessels and channeled lead spring vessels. water into their homes through lead pipes. Some history. Well, that's just that's happening in uh, Flint right Historically, now. Historically, that's yeah. true. Michigan. Shout out. Some historians argue that lead poisoning plagued the Roman elite with diseases such as gout and hastened the empire's fall. Well, gout isn't going to end the empire. Mm -hmm. Ooh, gout can be terrible though. But it's, it doesn't affect your mind. It just makes it just gives you lots of pain in your joints, right? That's I mean, my... John, it, it can be horrible. Yeah. I mean, that can be debilitating. True. Then, the fall of the great Roman Empire. Minimizing gout. If only Lead Safe Mama was around then. By the way, that's our mention of she the Roman Empire them. for the week. Yep. <laughs> for Those the week Italians, for the episode. The it's our first one today. All right. Italians. So what? So you have something to uh, argue against, Lead Mama, AB? Uh, the other ones that Stanley people are using are has, uh, not good. They're something to argue. Please don't they use said uh, they responded okay. because there was a bunch of other TikToks like this being put out. And it says, uh, in short, yes, Stanley tumblers are sealed with a small trace of lead in their uh, insulated cups, but the lead is completely enclosed by stainless steel and does not come in contact with your drink. Unless mm. it breaks. Mm. See, that's not a comforting, that's that not point? a comforting, what? If it breaks in such a way, like, I feel like it would have to be catastrophic damage for it to break in such a way that it's leaking out. Well, you know? I don't know. Well, and then are you care. using the Stanley Cup at that point? Well, listen, somebody is going to be mm -hmm. using that cup. They're expensive. You drop it, there's a little ding. Yeah. It leaks out a little bit in the cup. You're going to use it. You don't you know there's lead in there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why is there lead in there? Um, you know what I mean? What, where, we, where, where did we go wrong just from the top? Go ahead, Avery. And then also says, as far as the accuracy uh, of the lead like check test used on TikTok, a report from OSHA that dates back to 1994 states that the FDA reported that the swabs were able to detect the presence of absence of lead in 96.6% <laughs> of the pieces tested. What is that? So you're saying that it's... That it wasn't even detected in 96% of the, uh, the units they tested from OSHA. OSHA tested Stanley Cups? Yes. And 96% tested negative? Correct. Well, not lead mamas. Tell them to bring out the whole ocean! Tell them to bring out the whole lead. Uh, well, there it is. Okay. Stanley Cups. Apparently there's lead in them. Which is funny, because now I can say that and it's not like defamation, because sure, it's like negligible and it's probably not in most of them, as OSHA mm -hmm. said, apparently, according to OSHA. But I can say there's lead in them and, yep. they, and that's not defamation. Yeah. Yeah. There's lead in Stanley Cups. Evidently. You want to go burn one now? It's <laughs> all Fuck yeah, dude. Let's, let's <laughs> freebase those fumes. Anyway, that's exciting. So we're going to burn our Stanley Cup. <laughs> um, what else we got? All kinds of good stuff. Let's start at the top, though. I got to clarify some things. See you next Tuesday. I had made a claim that caused ruffled some feathers about that I was going to start DMCAing. Well, what I said here is all members' content with peace and love will be DMCA'd. 
if you want to remove them now with peace and love. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So here's what I'll say. I'll, I'll further clarify it. There are some friends of the show <clears throat> that make highlights for the people. And listen, ideally, it would be nice if people supported... It'd be nice if everyone could watch it, right? I'm making content. If people want to watch it, they should be able to, whether they can afford to or not. Like, the idea of... of um uh, money gating it, pay gating it, uh, you know, it's, it's something that we don't generally ever do, even for our live shows. <clears throat> However, I want to offer something nice to our members, so, you know, it seems like after this came out that most people are comfortable with it being available to anyone, but I do want people to feel that they're being uh, compensated, so here's what we've done. Um, Your concern is that the paying members will feel slighted. Yeah. Got it. I guess there are some people that pay for this, and they say, well, what's the point? Right. I see. That's what that Reddit post was under. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah. So anyway, here's what we're doing. I had said previously that you can clip our podcast, and I had even said that we, you can clip the members. So here's what I'm saying, finally. There's a clip... You can clip the members if it's reasonable length. Re -up, full re-uploads will be erased with DMCA's with peace and love. Delete. So no full re-uploads. Delete. If it's a reasonably length highlight, we will let you survive. Peace and love to that. Otherwise, unpeace and love. No, don't say that. No peace and love to oh. those who fully re-upload. <clears throat> yeah. So that's that, you know? I don't know. Um, there was... Oh, yeah, the H3 podcast. Well, this one, I'll be honest, this one's fair use. I mean, yeah. this is completely transformative. This guy, the H3 podcast, he goes episode to episode and he cuts out all the dead air and then makes that an episode of really terrific stuff here. This is from uh, Monday. Yeah. So th this this is this is not my content. This is their content. You know what I mean? This is pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Jay, so here it is. And Wait, anyone, how long is this? It's three minutes. Whoa, that's way less than I thought. Me too, yeah. In a three and a half hour episode, there's only three minutes of That's silence? pretty good. We be yapping, dude. I don't know if he got all up. of them, though, but uh, listen, you know how I feel about dead air. I fight it at every cost, every turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so... You know, if people are, if people are jacking our, <laughs> our content and profiting off it... <laughs> You know, then then let's not do that, okay? If it's a clip with the title and it's contained and it's reasonable, you're fine. Capiche? There's the clip. There's the clip. Go look at the clip. Uh. Now there is yeah. this one clip. Clip. <laughs> <laughs> In other news, we always talk about that this channel is a trend center setter. We've done it all. It happened. Cody Co bought a Gatsby. Did we watch that? We did. Yeah. And it's like, oh, e H3 Podcast already did that like two or three years ago. Oh. Well, I mean, we've, we've already destroyed it. Yeah. We're done with it. Yeah. I mean, Bobby we Lee crashed that, that bitch <laughs> head on. <laughs> WikiFeed, people trying to do that. Who's trying to do WikiFeed now? Well, Charlie said he was the king of WikiFeed at one point. Oh, oh we didn't have idiot. that hole. Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> well, it might be now since... You know, but the thing is, the king, I'm the god of WikiFeed. Like, I, mean, yeah. I was you, banished. Do you yeah. understand? Like, I'm Lucifer. Like, I, I, I'm the fucking demigod of WikiFeed. Um, I see a lot of people mm. don't like Ethan, and that's totally fine. You, you don't have to like everyone. Shut anything. up, Charlie. <laughs> the god Lucifer. That's not like, totally fine. Twenty eight dollars. What's, what's totally no fine how about people this, hating me? Yeah, a lot for some fucking. Especially cookies. with all this anti-Semitism in the world, Charlie. 
Oh, it's seven dollars a bag, and that's still expensive. But then you All also right. have to Here factor the in cookies, that the bags dude. aren't even big to begin with. It's four ounces per bag. Oh my God, four bro! Ounces of cookies it's just for seven dollars is still a lot, about especially when you compare it to the. Thank you. But then here's a new one, Linus Tech Tips. And these guys are at the cutting edge, the bleeding edge, some say, of uh, technology. Mm -hmm. And here they some are. Some say that. Some say the bloodiest. Some say the bloodiest yeah. edge. <laughs> here they are. He thinks he's achieved peak gamer form. He's, look at this guy. We are so past this. Linus, I could have warned you, man. Have fun with your could have warned back you. problem. Yeah, now. exactly. So Linus got himself a scorpion chair. Not only, we got this thing like three years ago. We have worn it into oblivion and tr already thrown it out. Also, yep. <laughs> I mean, I can't help but notice that that's the three monitor model. We, we had the five. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, oh who are, these people, they just, stop trying. Linus. This is the show. I love you, man, but. We've got you beat on tech. No. We've got you beat on feet. We've got you beat on mobility scooters. Everybody just needs to kiss the ring. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll wait. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> we really are, I mean, pushing that. No, anymore. we're unbelievable. <laughs> so good so good luck out there. Shout out to um Linus Tech Tips. Shout out. Woo! Big shout out. That he enjoys his new Scorpion chair there. Uh never before seen. Do I think these people are ripping us off? No, for the record, I'm not accusing them of that. These are uh, these these are funny things that you know float around the internet. Yo, I don't know if this is real, but somebody in the chat said Linus said Dan was just being a baby. Wait, for real? He's he's writing. Uh, I don't know if they're just that? kidding, but if he really said that, there's a Dan at his place too. So maybe he was talking about his Dan. Whoa. Oh, that'd be confusing. Mm, yeah, maybe. Well, the, the th even if he did say that, Dan, like. There's a difference between sitting in it in an afternoon and sitting in it as a dedicated desk for a years. A thousand percent. You know, I mean, get off. A thousand percent. Off, get off our nuts, bro. Get off our scorpion nuts. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they have nuts. <sighs> they must have some kind of testicle. How does scor do scorpion scorpions or will have <laughs> gonads? They, have they definitely do have balls. I've seen them. Uh, oh, let's see. you've seen them? I don't know if they have balls. No, you... They have some kind of reproductive organ, seen though. Them. Mm -hmm. Males have two gonads made of two cylindrical tubes. They oh, have tubes. Real? They're not balls, These they balls. have tubes. Yeah, I'd love to have seen them. They, they have... They well, have well, a lot of mention mother, the tube no, thing. They have gonads. Arizona. Put your balls in my mouth? Get off... Okay, Oh, Dan. you've seen them, too, now. <laughs> They're not Get balls. off our gonads. They're not balls. They're cylinders. Get off our cylinder... Cylinder. <laughs> Get off my <laughs> cylinders, cylinders, bro. Dude. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Um. Also, yeah. So this, 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 this. thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cav, cav. We've talked about cav, cav a lot, and there's a really fun update here. People were getting a lot of laughs. You know, cav, cav. He's obsessed with his Wikipedia page. He's getting old, dude. No, it's not. <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep talking about it. He's obsessed with his Wikipedia page, and he's constantly accusing me of being behind some persistent shadow uh, operation to deface his Wikipedia page. The, thro hey, suck the these throws balls. goat. <laughs> throws throws. Goat. And I, I keep trying to explain to Ryan, I literally, I don't have the power. He says, I want you to put the Wikipedia page back to how it was. I says, Ryan, I would do that. If we can make this all go away, I'll do that. <laughs> But I can't do that. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not Wikipedia. You know, and that's just. fucking guy. You're asking me to break. Guy. He, he's asking me to break the um, editorial credibility that uh, is the <laughs> backbone of Wikipedia itself. He called me Cav Cav. Just not right. Also, anybody can edit Wikipedia. Why doesn't you he do just it. do it? You know why? Well, he, he tried, but he's so incompetent. And he like got caught immediately because his name is like I am Ryan Kavanaugh sixty nine, <laughs> and it's just like clearly that's you, dude. Well, there's a lot of people trying to puff up his piece. Now I'm not accusing him of hiring people, but I will say is that there's a lot of people, and I know that not a lot of people care about Ryan. So it is interesting that yeah. there's so many people trying to correct it. But there is a, a editorial standard, and so if it's not true, if it's you know seems too puffy. Then there are moderators who will come in 
to protect the institution and uh, do what's right. Yep. I, can, I have no control over them. Anyway, to get, the point is, Cav Cav, he misses his old Wikipedia page so much. He started hosting his own fully blown Wikipedia <laughs> knockoff. Hey, it's, suck these balls. It's absolutely <laughs> banana. Go further than knockoff because, like, implies he, like, changed a letter or something. He, he cloned Wikipedia. But it sounds like from what here, this is on his website, Ryan Kavanaugh. By the way, since if you're typing Ryan Kavanaugh, definitely click on this. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? Wait, where's our website? What the fuck? What's going on here? Where's our website's not even on the front page. Yo. Hold on. What the fuck? Yo. It was down for a long oh. time. It's it was down for yeah, 35 this hours. Fucking guy. It's still down here. It's just knocked down. It fell that it was, far off. It was top? offline for a long time. But right? that wasn't because of the offline. I saw the dip and then it started going up again, but now it's Ooh. hold on, I can check. This Where is, is it? I didn't even see oh, it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's so low. Wow. Below the failure podcast, which doesn't even exist. That does At least this website going exists. On here. What's happening, love? This could be something nefarious. Could be. It could Ooh. be. It could be. I'm not saying it, it is. But it could so be. what could he, what could somebody do? Not him, because I'm not accusing uh, him. You could like spam it with uh, fake links to that website to make Google... See, so there is a, some kind of black so hat. Oh, yeah. but like I'm surely competitors do that to each other all the time. Google's got to be smarter than that. I'm checking right now. Average position, the la let me see, the last seven days is 3.6 is the average Google search position. Yeah, that's what so I'm used to seeing. It's three. It's weird that it dipped right now. Last updated 13 hours ago, so it could have happened something the last. Just day. happened. That's wow. weird. I'll, I'll keep monitoring, it, but I think it'll, it'll bounce up. I'm, yeah, I'm sure, it's gonna bounce up, That's, especially if Google notices that a lot of people are searching for it and stuff like that. Click well, on it. I mean, dude, historically, if people type Ryan Kavanaugh into their browser, which I recommend doing, yeah. and then they're gonna look for this page and they're gonna click this page. I'll say I'm not worried. It's this happens sometimes, especially if the website goes down for a little bit. It's gonna bounce back. Up. Okay, okay, yeah. good. That scared me. I mean, we put so much love, and I mean, it was really a public service. Does sure. Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? Dot com. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll be back because the website is back stronger than it would ever spin. I don't think it can be crashed again. So make sure you go Google it. Or if you're wondering about like the question, does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein.com? You should definitely type search. his name. Yeah. These balls. Because yeah. it's too long to type right into the address. Of course. Bar. Yeah. Ryan Kavanaugh. You want to Google it Google or Bing it. it. Terrible URL. Yeah. To be so anyway, I was oh, going, really good. I'm going to actually, you know what I'll do? I'll go to his website. Without typing it in the search engine. Yeah, if you want to go, exactly, yeah. If you want to go to his website, make sure you go to it directly. RyanKavanaugh.com. No search required. Wait, what the fuck is this? Z? What What the hell is his website? He doesn't even have his own name? What an idiot. Isn't it RCAV or something? Oh, tell me what the real one is so I don't have to search it. So anyway. <laughs> his website is also gone. Wait, what? Yeah, it's super far down too. rkavanaugh.com. Wait, what? Yeah. What's happening? Hold on, I gotta... There's I gotta, been a crackdown. Ryan Kavanaugh. Google Google's had down enough. on all Ryan Kavanaugh related activities. So number one's Wikipedia. Number two's LinkedIn. Like, bro, please, nobody's going to his LinkedIn over our damn super informative Forbes. That I, Forbes article has not been there before, I think. But that's interesting. So, hmm. R. Kavanaugh. Wow. Dude. This is weird. But anyway, if you go to his website, which I recommend just typing in if you want to. No, you don't have to go there. I'll show we'll, you. We'll show yeah, you. Don't go there. Yeah. <laughs> so it says, blah, blah, blah. Here he is with uh, Kevin Costner. Who I guarantee he fucking probably either hates or doesn't even know who he is anymore. <laughs> the cost, cost. Philanthropy? You really going to put that, bro? After what you did, where's his Wikipedia page? Uh, oh, so, you click it. So if you yeah. go on his his um, Ryan's official fact checked Wikipedia page, <laughs> this is his official Wikipedia page. <laughs> he wrote it like it's a joke. Uh huh. This is our fact checked Wikipedia page. So you click that. Does it go to Wikipedia.com? No. It looks like it. 
this has got to be an IP violation, like big time. Like if anybody <laughs> works at Wikipedia or knows anyone that works at Wikipedia, you should be aware that Ryan Kavanaugh is ripped off your IP. And cloned your website. <laughs> to further his own business interests. This is additionally, it's actually against Google TOS to have duplicate content on your website. So, could oh, actually, is this just a copy paste of like the? If that's the case, it's absolutely against Google. Well, TOS I think it is it, because, as you can see, it looks exactly like Wikipedia to the extent that at the top, you have things like view the edit, like right. see at the bottom view edit history and uh, edit and talk. And when you click one of those, if you click, click like talk. the talk page here, yeah. yeah, click that. Look, it links directly to the actual. You're you're back on Wikipedia now. Oh, that's so. Oh. I think he literally took a snapshot of his Wikipedia page, cloned it exactly with all the links intact and then just took out all negative mentions of him from the article. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, this is something Google actually takes really serious. Decepting searchers is one of the worst things you can do mm. when it comes to SEO. Yeah, not even SEO. I mean, if I was Wikipedia, I wouldn't want somebody to, this, this can't be the norm where no. people just impersonate them. <laughs> And then do a fake link. This this is crazy. <laughs> this guy, he really thinks he can get away with anything because he's rich. Sorry, buddy. That's just not how the world works. You're 49. That's a rough 49. Sorry. I scrolled down. I think he looks all right. For yeah, you're right. I'm being he's fine. Harsh. I scroll down to yeah. see the edits, and I see <laughs> in the edits, Thrust is in there. Wherever that is. It's because it's the real edit page. Yeah, when uh, you go to edits, you're, it takes you're, you you're getting Wikipedia. off of his website and going... Oh, well, I guess that one oh, is wait, still no, the, on his website. Wait, the edit page didn't redirect If me. you go all the way down. Okay. Right there. So you edit, edit history, history on this page. Yeah. Like that. That one goes to Wikipedia. There you go. Now you're, there you are. <laughs> the thrust yesterday. Thrust updated <laughs> 23rd yesterday. 23rd of January. <laughs> website host, a modified mirror. Also copy Voil. I oh, he, he's on it. I think he's talking about... He's talking about uh, the edited or his mirror website. How do you website. know? Wait, how do you know? Website hosts a modified mirror. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's he's referring to that website, I think. So, yeah, if you click talk oh. at the top. Beta. So he's been talking about this before, even us. <laughs> Thrust is, we're always behind Thrust. And Thrust scroll. is always 10 steps ahead. Ryan right. always goes, you're paying Thrust. Let me tell you this, Ryan. I, if I knew who he was, can I say I would pay him? But I'm not, no, I'm not paying him. You wouldn't pay him. How about shake his hand? <laughs> I'd shake his I'd hand. I'd definitely shake him his hand hug. and say, good work. I, and I, I'd pay him because I care about the people. That being said, I have never paid Thrust. I don't know who Thrust is. I have never had any contact with Thrust. I don't think have we have never even made an effort to contact Thrust. As far as I'm no, concerned. we've stayed yeah. far away from Thrust. We don't. We don't want to muddy like, the waters. Let's not pierce. Exactly. Thrust Ethan Klein is his is own like entity. His or her. We don't even know. Whoever you are, Thrust, we love you, buddy. So what am I looking at? If you go to the very bottom, it says total page. You can total page copyright theft you can one expand. hour ago. Yeah. Oh. Oh, shit. There, yeah, people are on it. What the fuck? Well, this was posted like yesterday on our subreddit, so it makes sense. I okay, guess, maybe right? people are starting to look into it a little bit. I, and I don't know if Thrust is a member of the community. Maybe it was forwarded him by somebody. Um, an edited version of this article is being hosted on the subject's ordinary website masquerading as the real thing. User contributions have been copied as well as the talk page, but all criticism has been removed. Every attempt has been made to mimic Wikipedia, including active links and legal information at the bottom, despite it being a total misrepresentation of copyright. Well, okay, this reply is from Throst, and they seem, to, they seem to know the ins and outs of this, so let's see what they say. I have removed the template because it is technically misplaced here. While content on Wikipedia can be copied, modified, and redis redistribu redistributed, under the same license, there must always be at least a link back to the original. Is that right? That's all? So he can so according to this, he can clone it? It sounds like with with some caveats. I mean, Wikipedia famously, <laughs> you know, they operate on this kind of like open source license. They're 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 not litigious about going after people borrow because I mean it, the whole thing is like this collaborative kind of uh project. So it's understandable. But it sounds like there are conditions to that which Ryan is not adhering to. Well, I understand like in the spirit of camaraderie and uh, knowledge and stuff, but if you're using their name to give yourself wrongful credibility, right. then, that's a problem. Yeah, that definitely seems like And this fucking guy. That fucking guy. Oh, this is so interesting. Huh. I'm telling you, this talk 
part of his page is so interesting. Like it, <laughs> it's a war zone in it there, It is, dude. man. It is. <laughs> it's so interesting. Let me see what else is going on there. Since we're here. Let's see. Here's the update. This is from the 20th. So it was three days before. No edit summary. Merging category. American independent film production. This, this is, all just yeah. seems like standard kind of cleanup stuff that's always Yeah, mm-hmm. This happening. one says bot. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Beta. <laughs> Trappist the monk. I don't know what the, what the fuck does that mean? Updating LA Times archived articles. Thrust is here last time on the 24th of October. First of November, too. <laughs> he says, unsourced, not mentioned in body. Looks like he undid something. Love that about him. All right. So here it is. So he's hosting his own. Uh, let me read this because this guy's like a, a web tech. I was watching uh, Ryan Kavanaugh's part on the most recent episode, and I decided to open up his personal website after AB mentioned it. What caught it, my attention was a part that read, check out Ryan Kavanaugh's official fact-checked Wikipedia. When I saw next door, uh, what I saw next shocked me. He's got a whole ass Wikipedia page about himself hosted on his own website. Figured Ethan would probably get a kick out of how embarrassing that is. You f- you figured you were correctly. right. You were right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you pull up his official public Wikipedia page and do a side by side comparison with the self hosted one, you can see how many of the sections have been conveniently trimmed and manipulated to make him look like a great guy. Pretty funny. Thank you. True. I work as a software developer and I comb through HTML and the browser developer tools just to see if I could glean anything from the code. Doesn't seem like a simple co- copy and paste, which would be difficult to fully keep function anyway, as the CSS style and class names vary quite a bit. Oh, from the okay. official so I was wrong. Wikipedia he didn't just source. clone it. He rebuilt it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like a serious project by a. Uh, but by then, how did he, yeah. he still wind up linking back to all of the original stuff in there? Like, if your whole goal here is to kind of like direct people away from your real wikipedia page which is extremely embarrassing shouldn't you not link to that thing that you're trying to bury i believe he might be trying to comply with the rules i guess maybe Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i think he just want to take uh, this when you search ryan kavanaugh wikipedia on google i think he just wants the top result with his own shot he's gonna get it with this no and it's a wikipedia you can't beat them yeah if you look in the code it's the (coughs) meta title the part that's going to show up in google search says wikipedia parentheses fact checked official version you ryan you know that that looks sounds fishy as hell (laughs) yeah like nobody's clicking that and thinking that's legit man he's getting old dude soup shut up ryan it's funny it's like typing in parentheses super legit no lies (laughs) I show I, I show send a screenshot how it looks in Google. Super fine. Oh yeah, let me see. Um, where oh here it is. Stop a little balls. bit. Yeah. So if you type it in, send feedback. Yeah, I just figured also if you if you want to send your feedback to Google, but you don't have to. Do oh no, don't. Yeah, okay, I mean okay. if you, yeah. I don't I don't have any feedback. Okay, well in that case, but if as a do, searcher, of course. If you, as a, as a patron of a search engine, yeah, wanted to give, what kind of feedback could you even give? I didn't even know that button exists. Well, pers- my personal, if I searched Ryan Kavanaugh Wikipedia, for example, yeah, and that came, and I, I realized that his website comes up, I, I'd say, this is a little bit weird, right? Misleading. Misleading, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wikipedia fact checked, official version Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> Are we gonna add some more fact checks? Let's let's keep it going, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, he continued. I'll finish this. Uh, I took an educated guess. It appears to me that CavCav's teams has at least used some third-party software to allow for building Wikipedia pages on a personal website. Or, in the crazier case, they paid uh, someone to build a custom web page that matches the style and functionality of Wikipedia. Update. On top of major sections being missing when compared to the official, this also seems to be a case of trademark infringement. Yeah. Well, I don't know, I guess, based on what we read. I don't, I, I don't know. But anyway, we love him. He's, 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 he's advocating for himself. And that's what anyone... 
That's all we can do, really, at the end of the day. Yeah. Self-love. You're right about that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lie, cheat, steal. Gotta love yourself. Yep. Not that he's done any of that. First rule of being horrible, you gotta love yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, yeah. if you don't love yourself, who is gonna? No. If you're a piece of shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. True. Damn. Adele, Adele, thank you so much for the fitty. And also, thank you so much to Francisco for 50 gifted subs. That's so tremendous. Thank you so much. It's so nice. Appreciate you guys so much for that. Uh, so that was a fun little thing, you know. Also, top of the show here. Hour in, top of the show. Loves Doppelganger. We've talked about him, but this is getting weird. Mm -hmm. This dude, and he's American. I thought he must be Swedish because he looks so much damn like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but he's American as shit. It's frightening. It scares me. So he, uh, here it is. He's doing a, what is his name? His movies are therapy. He loves movies. He loves Man movies. loves movies. Do you Tony love movies? No. No. I love the movies. Kit. Kit Laser is his name. Hey guys. Kit hey Laser. Guys. <laughs> Kit Laser. All right, so anyway, here is here he is. Have been announced. Let's get my thoughts and predictions on each category. A lot of people are making this video right now. You should watch this one out of pity. For best supporting actor, DiCaprio was not selected, but Sterling K. Brown oh was, and I'm happy to see Mark Ruffalo in there. We'll likely see another win for Robert Downey Jr. for Oppenheimer. Costume design will probably go to Poor Things, and it's the first of two times that Napoleon snuck in here. Best makeup and hair will almost certainly go to Poor Things. Best adapted. I wonder if him without the hat and glasses would look. The less glasses. Like you. Yeah, probably not. Right. We do seem to have the same beard, same glasses, Dude, same mouth. Y'all, same eyes. He's a you little need to do DNA shit. That's fucking Play creepy. Is probably dude. between poor things and Oppenheimer. I think Barbie's likely to go home empty-handed, mostly. Well, what do you think about his analysis? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not listening. Okay. Yeah, to be honest. What? I, I honestly don't listen to most of the videos I watch. The Oscars and Oppenheimer. It. I know they had that whole first person. He says Oppenheimer is gonna sweep. Maybe. I yeah. don't know. Okay. It's a good movie. Five bagger. You know, I sent it to my dad, and he didn't think it looked like me at all, which is weird. But if you think it looks <laughs> yeah, like yeah, you. it doesn't make any sense. But my dad's like, he's nope. a hawk. Yeah, it's just you do you not? I was trying to reason with him. It's like you, you got to see Shh. something. It's like not really. I was like, come on, you're just fucking. He's the hawk. He yeah, loves I mean, you. He, he. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. His, your face is imprinted on his brain. Of course. That's a little sus that he's saying it doesn't look like you at all. Oh, maybe. illegitimate son, maybe? Yeah, maybe oh. maybe the oh. brother. Good point. Whoa. Oh, yeah. He's like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> the hawk no was in another nest. Oh, you know right. what I'm saying? Uh, but for him to be, be that, fucking, dude. <laughs> for him to be that close, I feel like it's got to be my real brother. Half brother. Mm. No, I'm saying real brother. But they Full like sent him away. Separated at birth? Mm. Yeah, maybe. A twin? <gasps> he looks older. I He's just, probably yo, like, oh, 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 it's a parent out. trap style situation. Oh my god. That's so what crazy. happened? They, your parents Brother? just didn't want him? Yeah. Yeah. His yeah. name Brother? was Hate. They gave him yeah. away. Fucking sent his ass to America. Brother? <laughs> Have we Brother? reached out to him? Because I do. I wanna, We're in we touch. Do a we DNA talked. Test. Yeah, we, yeah. It turns out you're both 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Brother? Brother? <laughs> We gotta get him to try kebab pizza. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. send him out to Sweden. Oppenheimer. Yeah, fucking the whole thing. Even brother. if you guys aren't related, I feel like we could spark a brotherly. You could relation. become yeah. soul brothers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. Dress you guys up in matching outfits. Seems nice. Yeah, he seems, he seems really nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. You brother. don't. Have, you're the only child, right? I am the only child. That's why I'm kind of against this. Scary. You well, know? No, this is this is great. Your family's growing, man. Yeah, the idea of having a brother kind of scares me. You know. He's an older brother. He's going to look out for you. Oh, that's nice. Give that's you nice. good movie recommendations. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, did we reach out to him? Yeah, we're, we're okay, talking good. to him. <laughs> oh, we made contact. Yeah, we Is he aware of love? Has he heard this? Yes. Does he, he said know? all the comments he gets. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. Do we know which state he's located? Is this he is near heartwarming. Oh, I haven't. We haven't gotten that far okay. yet. Yeah. Well, brother? we can certainly get him to call in. I'm so <laughs> excited for this reunion. I'm scared, brother. We need Brother? to get Maury out here to do a DNA test. Yeah. Oh my God. Maybe that'd be a fun segment. If he comes out, we can do like a Maury like, mm, yeah. Bring Hawk back out. Yeah. Is yeah. Maury, um, 
Is he still doing his thing? Or is Who's he retired? Mori? I don't know Mori. He should like Mori dead. might have, might be gone. He should be dead by now. Well, he does like a live. If there is a, dead if there's right a god, now? he would be dead by now. Oh, stop it, Mori. Yeah, he, stop he re- it. He retired in uh, 2023. That's what I thought. Hey, there's an opening, my friend. Mm-hmm. For, Gaping hole in the market for exploiting family drama, yeah. essentially by doing parent tests. 31 seasons, the longest running daytime talk show with a single host in wow. American television history. Oh, <laughs> and I mean, wow, t- he started at the beginning. I remember because I used to watch these when I get home from school. This was the type of shit that was on daytime telly. Mm-hmm. Jerry telly, Springer telly. came and changed the game. <laughs> mm-hmm. Before yeah. that, Maury was trying to have like a somewhat r- legit talk show. Mm-hmm. After Jerry Springer came, busted the game wide open. Murray became like a straight up just DNA test every episode. <laughs> every episode. Right. Yeah, he figured out good content. It, I mean, shit. Proof is in the pudding. Mm-hmm. How old is this motherfucker? How much, how I believe old? that Maury also... Mur- Maury Povich. Am I right? confusing him with another daytime? I think he was a big uh, marijuana legalization advocate. He's 85, man. Murray Povich. Murray Povic is 85 years old. That motherfucker was born in 1939. What? Yeah. Wow. I, he, that dude was born before the Second World War, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Fuck is old. Dude. Yeah. He's ready to be even, president. Okay, I was right. He has, a, he has a weed strain named after him, even. And then there's a video of him smoking it. What's it called? The DNA? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. I assume just... The Maury, I guess. The Povich? Jerry died at 79. See, that's the thing. That's not fair. Jerry died at 79. Rest his soul. Uh, but Murray got to live to 85? Why are you knocking on, on Murray so much? You just said yourself you would rush home to watch him. Yeah, but I was like, I don't know. But you have to acknowledge that. He was a tremendous force for bad in this world, I feel like. <laughs> you know. Exploiting people's pain and crushing one of the most humiliating crushing moments of their lives when they get exposed is <laughs> and then the the dad who's not the dad starts break dancing right or not she's crying. the father but may- is brave maybe i'm being too harsh on him i wish him a gentle passing <laughs> jesus <laughs> I mean, he's 85. He's not going to live forever. It's coming up. I mean, I'm obsessed with that. He was also, he was also a chain smoker for years. So oh my I'm God. Sure that'll Kill him and apparently a weed smoker, too. So there you go. He's beating the odds. I wish you a gentle fast. I want to find the name of his of his weed strain, though. <laughs> Pick some of that up. Um, there it is. Have we considered the fact that he's evil? My brother. Your brother? He doesn't seem evil. That's what I was saying. His name is I hate. suspect that you may be the evil twin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm love, bro. What the fuck? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trying to that's, us. What they, that's how they get you. Yep. Mm-hmm. They yeah. say the, the, the Antichrist won't come. They'll come before you with like a smile and a suit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's not going to look like the devil. He's going to be a charmer. Mm. <laughs> that is what they say. That is true. Yeah. I haven't thought of that. Well, Maybe we're going to have to do a analysis. My name backward is evil. Love? Yeah, Whoa. I mean... That is true. Not really. Evil. 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 <laughs> it is. Evil. I know, I've known it all my life. Evil. <laughs> well, how about this? My birthday is June 25th. Christmas is... December 25th, I am literally the Antichrist birthday. It was be on June 25th. Oh, it's negative, yeah. It's six, literally six months opposite. <laughs> Jesus I Christ. I support Jen Assembly. <laughs> <laughs> you support Yo, Marty is married to Connie Chung. I don't know who that is. The reporter? And is apparently she's... the weed strain is named out. Does she, is Connie Chung chief? Let's go, dude. Oh, I didn't. Okay, shout out Connie. She's out there blazing. Oh, shoot. Oh, she's like 20 years younger than him. Oh, or, no. Uh-oh. Problematic age gap. She's Uh-oh. 77. Wait, not 20. <laughs> she's 77, bro. That's <laughs> No, young. that's 10. That's 10 years. I'm off. <laughs> it's not 20 years. It's less than 10 years, actually. Eight nice years. math, dummy. You just have it out for Maury. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe he's a good guy. I don't know. 
but what it, whenever it is that you do pass from this earth, and it will be soon, statistically speaking, um, I hope it's gen I hope it's uh, surrounded by loved ones. Hope Connie's there. <laughs> no, Connie shouldn't have to see that. I hope Connie. No, Connie doesn't have his to. wife. Yeah, she should be there. Why We're not? Smoking the strain together. As I he just goes. don't want. That's that's so heavy for Connie. Well, she's coming right after him. She's not she's that really young. She's really strong. Also, she's, she's really strong. Strong. You're right. You're right. You know. I shouldn't underestimate her. Yeah. I mean, she was an anchor for NBC. She's been. She knows. She knows. Zach, I started to get uh, some existential dread about dying. Hmm. <sighs> Welcome to my life. I have never dude. really cared or thought about it, but I I don't know if I think it's part of really sh shredder passing. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I've gone through phases of of thinking about it, but it's never like become a problem where I'm just, I can't stop thinking about it or something. Mm. Yeah, I, uh, I deal with it on a weekly basis. Mortality and things like that. It's, you know, you, you gotta find good distractions. That helps a lot. Um, but it, it is terrifying. Yeah, it's good. Go it's best to just what not scares about you about it too it? much and ignore it. Um, things that are I, bothering you. I'm not good with like things that <laughs> I can't control, which is why I'm not really good with Death. Doing, doing drugs and things like that. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I, the fact of not being here, what is it like? What, What is that darkness like? Can you even perceive that darkness? You know what it's like? It was like it was before you were born. And I don't remember that and it scares the shit out of me. Mm. Right. Um, well, how about this? This is something that kind of is trippy. Every single, how many people have lived before us? Kings, inventors, scientists, everybody. Napoleon, all the motherfuckers out there. You swam. <laughs> who swam his ass. He swam. Everybody, every single one of them has died. They've all been through it. Right. Every single person's got to deal with that shit. Right. So I think, you know, I think the comfort in that is trying to live life to the fullest. And, you know, when you do pass on, someone says, like, hey, man, that, that guy's a good guy. I think that is the, the reward. I'll say that about you. Th thank you. Appreciate that. Lots of people will say that about you. Thank you. He's a good dude. Thank That's you. what the grave will say. I think ultimately, I, I do want to have like an autobiography. You know, auto. Okay. Um, that'd be my goal. Would you say autobiography? Autobiography. So that means you write it about you write yourself. Write it yourself. Yeah. Oh, nobody's That's stopping true. you from doing that. That's true. Yeah, that's fully <laughs> in your hands. Forward by Ethan Klein. I write a forward. You write a forward for his auto. <laughs> yeah. For uh, for his audi audi bio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or autobiography or just biography. Like someone else write it about me. That'd be cool. I mean, autobiography is a little... Is it more... I guess it'd be fine in your case. Yeah. It's like historical. You know? Or if yeah. someone wants right. to write a biography about me, that'd be cool too. Mm. Yeah. That'd be cool. You can't say that, Zach. No, like it's can. okay to say like, I want to write oh, an autobiography. Is Jeff here? But like... Check my phone. Somebody should write a biography about No, they me. should. Um, they should. Lena, I think he's going to be just, here it's, soon it's, if you want to... Yeah, it's a little okay. self-centered. I'm okay with that. I'm. I want someone to write a biography about me. Okay. Well. Thank you. So Jeff's arriving any minute. What if Ethan got a low taper fade? Thank you for this, Zach. You're welcome. I had fun making Ooh, these this two chord song. <laughs> Ooh, it's very moving. Sing it. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, wow. This Sonic. is great. This clip of Demi Lovato from 2015. Oh. I have not seen before. And then I had a it's hard time the, the rest of the week. She says this is a joke. Do we believe her? No. Here, here and, she is. And uh, your favorite dish. <laughs> is this before or after the yogurt ruined her? This is before. It's before. Because it was after, I'd understand. But before. Anyway, go ahead, Demi. And uh, your favorite dish? My favorite dish? I like mugs because they're <laughs> very comfortable in your hand and they hold the hot things that you don't have to touch. So, um, you know, coffee <laughs> or hot tea. <laughs> if she is joking, props, because that was a very funny answer. But here's, I'm, here's I she like is, mugs. I'm leaning no. And if she's joking. not, that was a very intelligent and well thought out answer. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, well, that's the alternative. just listed basically what a mug is. I mean, what <laughs> else does it. it do? You know, it's got a handle and it holds mm -hmm. hot stuff. 
She said, for anybody who I actually like thinks mugs. I misunderstood the favorite dish question, you clearly don't get my sense of humor. Really, girl. Okay. Yeah, was she joking about the yogurt, too? Uh, no, she was very serious about that. By the way, her, we had a beef with like her sister or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Lovato's. like mugs. That was Love a very strange, strange episode. <laughs> we love the Lovatos, and uh, we honor them. <laughs> I love mugs. I like mugs. If I had to pick a favorite dish, I'd probably pick a mug too. I left that yogurt a bowl? store and didn't get the yogurt that I wanted. <laughs> I like mugs. Bowls are nice. You go with bowl? You could go with a bowl. I think bowl is goaded. Yeah. Bowl you, might be goaded. You, like, you could eat anything out of a bowl. Right. Sure. Like a plate, if you have a plate, plate is flat. Not. Plate and is, if you're yeah. trying to eat soup or something, you can't do that. But if yeah. you have something that you would normally eat on a plate, you could still put it in a bowl. It you, might not fit well, but it's not going to fall out. You it's can not. drink from a bowl, too. Like, if you're you need one bowl, dish, if you're doing survival shit, yeah. and you have one dish, it's got to be a bowl. I think you're right. Absolutely. I think the, the bowl is goaded. Yeah, she fucked up. She picked the wrong dish. Yeah. If you need to use the bathroom, you can't piss on a plate. You can piss in a bowl. You know? Well, you and yeah, you don't need to piss in the bowl. I mean, well, you're talking survival, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone said Rev Revel Revel Love said that was Poot, not uh, Demi. Oh, that makes sense. I see. James Charles is still doing thirst traps. This man is fucking lost. This is crazy, dude. Let's see what he's up to. That is some bullshit. Some he bullshit. Said, Who's been following me for a while and lives in near LA? Let me know. Quiet. Don't tell anyone. Oh. Bro, how are you? Still <laughs> Don't mention it to anybody. Our world is so sick that he's still comfortable putting this shit out Sister. there. It's it's just absurd, man. Yeah, really sad. <sighs> really sad. He's just soliciting his fans for sex, basically. Maybe it's for something. Other well, with his reputation, <laughs> why the why the whisper and the don't laughing? tell anyone well, Shh. I'm our desperate. little secret, our uh -huh. little secret. Don't tell anyone. Also, it's a, a, it's a story, not a post. That's in the water, maybe a little bit. Mm. Well, yeah, the story. Well, the stories go away, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a Snapchat thing, right? Or is that Instagram? This is TikTok, actually. Oh, it's TikTok. They've all got it now. Yeah. There's stories on TikToks? Yep. Started on Snapchat. Our user's attention span isn't short enough. I'm going to find a way to... Yeah. <laughs> find a way to boost those numbers. Interestingly, Dan, I think you you find this interesting. Hmm. It used to be that the videos were seven seconds, but the, the watch time on TikTok seems to have been increasing quite a bit. Yes. We're moving in the other direction. That was like now. a minute plus. We've discovered the glory of content that... Allows itself to last for longer than seven seconds. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to delete awesome. that, that shit, man. Awesome. I'm so over fucking TikTok, man. I was, I was trying to warn you all. I'm out. I'm like totally ready for the for the government to ban them. It sucks, dude. I watch Instagram uh, reels instead. Yeah. So I can see people getting hit in like <laughs> yeah, reels cars is and shit like for, that. For, <laughs> Sick. Reels for is that purpose disturbing. of just like brain dead content, reels is mm -hmm. way better. Also, you'll you'll see comments like a cringy video on on TikTok. Like people will comment, post this on Instagram Reels. <laughs> for real? It, it, yeah, because there's not much of a um, filter on there, so the comments are just absolutely deranged. Yeah, and like, <laughs> I've seen really disturbing stuff on Reels. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah no, it's not. It's, Live leak. It's like the it's modern live really leak. Really bad. Awesome. Which, what is going on with like Mr. <laughs> Dude? You know the guy who they always trout out whenever Instagram's in trouble or whatever? The, he's, he's always, like he's always talking to you like this. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. We're buddies. About. Like, that guy is always talking about how the, their number one priority is like safety and the safety of our users and fighting harassment and bullying. And it's That's like, such it is. <laughs> The worst it's ever been. <laughs> it's sir. the worst it. You sir. are not doing a good job. You're talking and, about this dork. And I'm not complaining. Yeah, that dork. Yeah. Uh -huh. Help yeah. watch. Because he's always like, hey, what's up, guys? You know, if he's Instagram president, he's just a, a Zuckerberg, like, sycophant. Like, there's no other way you get that position unless you kiss the yeah, ring. Yeah, for sure. 
And when I say kiss the ring, I don't mean just a ring. I also mean his booty ring. Hell yeah. <laughs> kiss the ring. Not that one. That's right. Never heard that well, like, I feel like eating ass has got to be one of the hardest things to force someone to do. Oh, man. What? Well, no, an enlightened ABBA take. <laughs> uh, where are we? So, shout out James Charles. People, I mean, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with the world. Here's a clip of Ian Slater, a.k.a. Spongebob, a.k.a. Homewrecker. What Although, no, he's not the Homewrecker. Ian, Ian Slater? Oh, he, as what? Spongebob? <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, Ethan Slater. Ethan Slater. Ian, you were so good in that part. Yeah, walk that back. I walked hmm. it back. I walked it back. You are bullying me. <laughs> no, I'm not. I am not. Um, I don't know why, frankly, it's so viral. Just because he's so excited about it. I mean, is this something that happened recently or is this an old clip? I'm not sure exactly. Let me look. Is that spam a lot? Which that just happened, right? Well, you, spam a lot is running. Did it close? What's spam a lot? But spam a lot's the show he he's is, been He is in. like currently in it. Or, yes. If right. it hasn't so it, closed, it's relatively he's still recent. In it. It's within the last few months. Okay, so here, here's the clip everybody's uh, analyzing. Filming Wicked has been unbelievable. It's like, uh, it's, it's this like huge, huge thing. The, the Broadway show is so huge and has been such a big part of everyone's lives. And then we've like handled it with such love and care. And John Chu is like, just has handled it with such love and care. I don't know. It's just been incredible. And everyone in it is, I think everyone's just going to, like their minds are going to be blown. Everybody who loves Wicked, people are coming to it for the first time. So he, so he was in Wicked. Was he, he was one of the lollipop. Guys, right? No, he plays huh? Bach, who he wasn't a lollipop kid. He, he isn't considered a lollipop <laughs> kid, but if he were in, y y you could say he's a lollipop kid. But he's there he's considered is. a munchkin. He's coined a munchkin. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Close I don't enough. know the politics in Oz. Is know. munchkin a derogatory word? Uh, no, in l written in, in Wicked. It is a part of that world. Yeah, I don't in the know context about this of, world. Uh, wizard, I think if you call a little person a munchkin, they'd probably be upset. But... I think so too. Probably. <laughs> Munchkins are like a. It, it's like it's like Hobbit in Lord of the Rings. You know what I mean? They're like they're like but a mun... race in Oz. <laughs> so is the word munchkin from Wizard of Oz, or does it predate Wizard of Oz? You know, I don't know. Because if That's it predates it, then it's derogatory in the in Let's Wizard see, of Oz. Let's see, munchkin uh, yeah, no. etymology. They use that term munchkin for uh, food, uh, like donuts, or m there's munchkin donuts. <laughs> so does that got to go away? It's from the munchkins depicted as a race of small childlike creatures <laughs> in Frank Baum's uh, The Wonderful <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Okay, like so he then, made it yeah, up. he's good. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty impressive by him. Yeah, this uh, this interview took place the opening night, which was in November. Okay, so this is after he had already divorced. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. But everybody who who loves Wicked is going to be really happy because these characters are being handled with such love and care. I can't even express it. I, I wish your wife was. It's amazing. It's going to be really special. So Wicked is a movie. That this is a movie that they made of the musical. So he's in the met. movie yeah. Yeah. with Selena. With Ariana. Ariana. Or, sorry. Close enough. No, you're right. <laughs> Ariana. Yeah. And that's where yeah. they hooked up. That's where, Correct. yeah. On the set of the movie. In London. Yeah. She plays Galinda, who his character is in love with. Who's Galinda? Is that the one? The, that's the, the good pink, witch. The pink oh, witch. Oh, she's the nice witch? Mm -hmm. Although it's... Wait until you see Wicked before you call her the nice witch. Am I right? Ooh, Am I right? It really humanizes the witches. Oh it's boy. important for witch people. You're That's... never going to look at Wizard of Oz the same way. You're never going to look at a witch <laughs> the same way. When we talk way. about burning the witch. <laughs> you know the era where we used to burn the witch? That era never really stopped. With all the anti-Semitism in the world, is it really time to start, you know, whitewashing How the black witch? How many times you bring that up? I'm just saying. <laughs> it, it's, it's a problem, Dan. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why you, you know, and, and, and frankly, the fact that you're calling me out is a problem. I mean, the Jay Shetty With all the anti-Semitism. The Jay world. Shetty thing the other day, it seemed, it seemed like a little bit of a stretch. What? That double Hal Hitler? <laughs> okay, where are we? So, uh, what's the, what's the fuss? I, I didn't, I genuinely Yeah, I don't really, understand. what's the problem? I, I genuinely don't know what the fuss is all about. Death of the Jews, okay, death of so. Israel. 
It's Excuse from. Excuse me. Oh, Jesus Maybe Christ. it's ben? just. Wait, what did Ben say? Death to the Jews, death to Israel. Stop. Whoa. Can't dude. say that, Ben. What the hell? It did say. What in the hell? It's from Fo. How do you say that? Fo Moy. Uh, are you talking about Dumois? Is that what it's called? Faux Moi. Faux Moi. Faux Moi. So this is like a gossip Instagram yeah, I think page. It's the gossip Reddit. He so did say love and care three times, which I found a bit odd. So they're not trying to be mean about his looks, but this is truly shocking me that this is what the guy behind all this drama looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. There were. Well, I mean, that's right. So is he like Mr. Broadway right now? He's like a hot item. I mean, yeah. Seems like it. Doing spam a lot and shit. Single handedly uh, the shattering candy. the myth that you need to be handsome to be a star. It's less the case nowadays, I would say. Also, he's not, it's not, I, he's not ugly. He's yeah. interesting looking. He's interesting looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I really do. I'm, no, I'll get crucified if I say that. Never mind. Say what you want, bro. <laughs> you think he's cute. I don't think he's cute. I just look at him and I'm like, that's a. I mean, that's a good-looking guy. I don't know. Sounds like you think he's cute. He, he's interesting looking. Yeah, he's interesting looking, and he's really talented. However, he's horrible, so I don't think he's hot at all. But right. maybe before this not. happened, when he was in SpongeBob, I was like, who's that actor who's so talented who's nominated for this Tony? Sure. Yeah, that's but fair. don't that's tell fair. anybody I said that. Do we know how tall <laughs> is he? Don't tell anyone. Can we, fa can we check his height? His height? Absolutely. Yeah. Jeff is arriving. Hey. Hi. Here. Hey. Jeff is coming. He's got all of his barber equipment. He's got some sne What kind of sneakers are those? Uh, Nike. Are those any special type or not? Are they Air Max, Jeff? No, probably made in China. They looked up. I just, I don't know much about sneakers. He's not mic'd, but he's wearing Nikes. What do you see about his sneakers, Zach? You're a sneakerhead, right? Let me right? see, Jeff. These are the silver bullets. Oh, so you know. They're the silver, silver you know. bullets, Air Max 90. Zach's Zach assessing looking. Jeff's sneakers. Hold on a sec here, guys. They're hype, Zach says. Would you have told him it's not hype if it wasn't hype? No, they're hype. Those are cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, one second. All right, Ethan, I sent you something in Discord. Can you turn on the roof? <laughs> yeah, as Jeff's getting ready, guys, shout out to Teddy Fresh coming out this Friday. At 10 a.m. PST, we got this set, this set, this, blah, yeah, da, da, bleh. This one's got the patches, Sheesh. teddy bear patches. Uh, come on in, yeah, come, come, come join me here. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Of course. Always. Woo. Yeah. It's always good to be here, you know? It's inspiring to come see this place. Oh, thank oh, you. I, lo I love when you say that. It's my favorite thing. I just want to snack that thing. You can, but uh, we should just sit here quietly for 20 seconds so okay, we don't I'm race sure we'll anything. Okay, we'll need to use it soon. Yeah, I already used it. We did use it today already. Yeah, whatever. So what's the deal? We uh, Was this your idea to get this yeah. cut or Have you, you told by the audience? Uh, no, this was my this is my idea. I'm trying to be Have more like Have you been ninja. following the low tapered fade ninja phenomenon? Look, I got a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. It's, really? It's tough to follow. You missed that. Uh, yeah, I um, I just got back from Mexico. We brought a bunch of drugs back I across see, the border. Yeah. You, you got that? anything? Do you have anything left over or not? No. Yeah, we okay. had to destroy just it. To yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. We destroyed it all. All right. Check with me after the show. No. I'm that, look, those days are behind you know i'm a barber now and my <laughs> credentials you know people don't really know that i'm a real barber but i sent you that picture just so you know i posted it did you post my it insta stories yeah no Pauly i know d. you're a real barber yeah i created the okay. poly d yeah mm -hmm. you would be nothing without you so let's let me update you with the um the low tapered fade meme so at least you know where we're coming from uh can somebody link me the yep by the way for anyone who's wondering ethan slater's five seven so Putting that out there. Oh, and by the way, Dan, I heard you don't trust that I'm gonna uh, commit to the Bachelor. He got he he got up. Is got, Dan out of here? But let's call him out. I'm gonna call no, him out on that after. Absolutely, call him out. Imagine if ninja. So, go ahead, go ahead. I'll, I'll wait for Dan. Okay, so in the meantime, this is this guy's a Twitch streamer, and he was just freestyle singing, and then he just brought out this iconic line that's been heard around the world 
Imagine if Ninja got a low table fade. Imagine if Ninja got a low table fade. So this was uh, resonated with a lot of people, okay. myself included. Yeah. I uh, see the, the meme potential of it. Yeah. Uh, who's he saying, Ninja? Yeah, Ninja. Imagine if Ninja got a low taper fade. Yeah. So now we're intercepting that meme and we're taking it over. That, well, he kind of. I mean, more like picking up the crumbs. It's funny. I, I remember when I had you on the barbershop, I wanted to give you a cool haircut like this. I suggested let's do something cool. And you wanted to do that stupid double mohawk from the wheel spin thing. Yeah. You know, and you said just anything but a mullet, which is what I had at the time. Yeah. So you were like, just, you know, I don't want what you have. Just give me this dumb shit. And now you want like an actual real fuck boy haircut like this is so what well yeah that was part of my thinking was like, well, last time Jeff cut my hair we went silly so this time let's go dope yeah we're going dope. Is a fuck boy haircut the fade <laughs> mm -hmm. you say mm hmm mm -hmm. no hesitation in like a good way it's just a guy who cares about how he looks man. yeah you know? mm -hmm. yeah so I guess that's a fuck boy yeah you know okay you take care of yourself wear cologne. I guess that's like a fuck boy. Yeah, thing. that's pretty lame. Can you smell me right now? A little bit. Yeah? How do I smell? Good. Thank you. Yeah. Fuck boy. I'm a fuck boy. <laughs> well, we love that about you because this is our future bachelor, ladies and gentlemen. And um, the world is not ready, actually. I'm not ready, to be honest. I'm nervous <laughs> because your success rate is 100%. And when I said that I wanted to find love, it is something that I want to do, but am I prepared right now? To well, like how old are you? I'm only 34. I'm not ready for a what, relationship. What do you mean only 34? You're not it's that a meme. Young. It's a meme. That's okay, like a meme. Right. That's what people say. Um, I didn't know the that. kid. He's just a See, kid. It's crazy. Oh, you're not that young. I'm just kidding about that part. But 34. Okay. Like I want, I want to continue the H3 Bachelor success rate, and okay. that's stressing me out. But I don't want to force myself into a life with somebody that I'm not happy with just for your guys' success rate, <laughs> well, you know? Well, unfortunately, it is, you're going to have to marry the winner. Uh, there's no conversations about that. That's why I say I'm scared about it, because, you know, <laughs> it's just a big commitment for the rest of my life. But I'm willing to do it, and I'm faithful that you guys are going to pick great contestants. I'm hoping you got, what did, I, what did I request? Did I? You want me to say what you asked about your hypothetical? Yeah. Jeff had, we were talking, uh, planning behind the scenes, me, Sam, and Jeff, and Jeff, we were saying, well, let's get some questions together. Oh, uh, yeah, to yeah. screen the yeah, girls. Yeah. And Jeff had said, uh, the hypothetical was something like, you, we f I just found out that some dude uh, molested Yeah, we're kid. married. We, we had a child. Yeah. I find out somebody molested our child. I went and killed them. I come back to the house with blood all over my hands, and I give you the gun, and I ask you to hide it. What, what do, do you do? do? Yeah, what do you do? Now, my, pr my problem was that I think that's a layup, because... If they, they molested your kid, it's both of our child. Then of course they're gonna hide the gun. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Here's where. This but is, now you're an accomplice to murder. Well, yeah, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, I, I go to jail murder. together. The thing is, when someone molested your kid and then you kill him, I feel like they usually get like a pretty light sentence. Slap on the wrist for that one. Killing them. Murder. It's almost like, like it's murder. like you kind of get the green light. I think we still run that question to a couple of them, you know? I got other ones, other scenarios, but usually they all end up with like, you know, can you hide this gun from me? <laughs> See, that, that, okay, we, that's interesting. Yeah. By itself. Yeah. Maybe other venue, uh, other avenues to take as well, as weapons and felonies. But like, crime. what are we really gonna, uh, like, what? Do you think I don't maybe know. that, maybe like, that's just a first question that's maybe coming on a little strong? <laughs> Maybe that's like the third question. Yeah, it could be the third. Maybe do they even want kids could be a question. You, you know? want kids? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's what okay. I'm like, yeah. I Okay, like good. Important. That's a good one. Yeah. Do you want kids with me? Uh, what do you mean? Maybe that's a question for them. Well, it'd be weird if they're like... Oh, oh, oh yeah, I, I, I thought with that. you. I'm like, <laughs> what, do you want to co-parent to adopt a child together? Uh, I got my hands full. <laughs> um, Maybe a dog? We could co-parent a dog? That's a good way if you do end up with someone to kind of 
that's what I'm gonna do. If this doesn't work out, the bachelor stuff, I'm just gonna get a dog. I'm just gonna get another dog, go. and I feel like that'll fill the void of me. Just you know, sometimes I'm alone at night, and I'm like, yeah. what am I doing here? Yeah, just watching space documentaries, falling asleep. Yeah. Hmm. Space documentary. Did you meet my new my new puppy? Can I have this one? Absolutely. <laughs> Where's Ducky? Where are you? Ducky. Are you guys selling Where dogs? Ducky. Where are you, Ducky? Right there. I don't want to see the dog unless it's for sale. He's oh, not, that's a cutie. He's absolutely not for sale. He's our special little boy. He's oh, so cute. No way. He's like four months old. Yorkie. He's so he's so sweet. He's the Damn, best. Look dog at him. Um, wow. He's boy. He is the. Boy. He's got the best disposition about everything. And he's, yeah. he's already doing so good with potty training. Where'd you find him? Um, from a, I don't know actually. Was Lena helped like me find it from a breed. No, not at all. It was, I'll tell you, it, he was, uh, he looks 1200. Cool. It wasn't that much. 1200? I mean, that's a lot of money for, for, that's a lot of money, but for. I'll give you 25 right now. <laughs> wow. 2500. That's a hundred percent profit. Yeah. You want to come home with me, don't you? Yeah. So I'll tell you what, if you take my dog, I'm gonna have a proposition for Ela. Will you hide this gun for me? <laughs> Here, let's get rid of I this. I love him though. He's such a good boy. Yeah, let it, so um Dan, yeah, I heard that you aren't really I gotta click this. What the fuck is, is he this? Here, Dan? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I heard that you <laughs> why did you need to click that? Because the <laughs> thumbnail looked crazy. <laughs> what the, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Alrighty. It just had, it had like 30 Hold million views. That was like Go ahead, stuff. sorry about that. A little, just a little uh, distraction there. So I saw a clip, you guys were talking about me doing The Bachelor, and Dan didn't think I was serious about it. He didn't think I was taking it serious. So Dan, well, I am more if, serious about this than I've ever been about anything in my life. Okay. I just I want mean, you to know that. That's good to hear. Uh, maybe I did express something about that, um, but, but, you know, my biggest concern is more related to something you said early on here, which is that, you know, you guys have a hundred percent success rate. Has, um, have you looked into that success rate at all? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> that's you what I mean. Like, that's it's a hundred percent success it. rate, Dan. That's not even a arguable. That's yeah, a, no, it is. No, you're right. Sam and Ian, who are still together, yeah. Sam moved across the country. They live together. They're in love. Okay. Years. How long have you guys been together, Ian? <laughs> that sounds like the sound uh, bite. Five, or, It'll be five years in November. Wow. So. Wow. Five We're years. so happy yeah. for them. We are. What, and, and, and Sam, was, and how, what was the influence on your life of meeting Ian? I mean, Go a on. lot. Everything changed for the better. Mm -hmm. Everything, Everything changed. That's what I'm scared of. Everything's going to change after this series. For the, for the better. better. Yeah. For the better. Yeah. I'm faithful that you guys will have a good... A, a good lineup um now the confusion about the two shows going on about how i was planning on doing my own that's yeah. how this came about i said i was going to do a show we were going to produce it with my own crew and make it more of like a reality show like the bachelor style and we were going to have like the jokes would be like you know instead of a rose you get like my pole like a barber pole you know it's like a you know, stuff like that. Okay. We, we were thinking it through, but also that's a big commitment. And I don't know if I want to show all of my like dates, you know, on, on camera for the world. Here's where, here's where my hesitancy is in that. It's a bunch of dudes that are going to be pouring over a bunch of women's resumes. And then you're going to be picking for yourself who you want to go on a date with. I feel the optics of that might be weird. <laughs> Am yeah, I wrong? I was trying not to look at it. We started this email and we just started as a joke and then the email started blowing up and there's really good submissions in there. So I might just pass that off to you guys because I trust okay. your crew. That's and good. I can give you guys that and say it comes down to like, maybe there's like a top three or yeah. something. So maybe I can spin that into like a sequel or spin off or sure. something. But that's just like, <laughs> these are all Paradise. options down the line. I don't know. I might find the one and just be like, all right, this is it. You know, I don't, I don't need any, so, guys, I might fire my whole team, leave this business. Yeah. Go back to cutting hair. S smuggling. Oh, cutting hair. Yeah. Got it. Um, that sounds good. You told me that you have like a thousand yeah, applications already. Date wow. at jeffwittick.com. Um, How does that make you feel that uh, you're the subject of so much amorous feelings and, and uh, people really want to be dating you? Used to it. You know, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's weird. It's a weird feeling. It's a it's a weird feeling. I get the I wear like the watch too, and I get notified from the emails all day long, and it's like, oh fuck, 
this is just like these have girls you, are spending time on this and <laughs> you know i just feel bad because i want to be nice to everyone you know have you always had a, a, a pull on women go ahead <laughs> have i always been i mean yeah 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 okay yeah i've never I've, I've been uh yeah i've been cool my whole life you've been cool your whole fucking life and um uh very good well this is a hunk this man is used to the attention and so you better i'm also very sarcastic so don't take everything i say seriously I, but i was i was cool in high school yeah i believe it I believe it. And have you ever found that being handsome and alluring to women has ever been a hindrance in your life? Uh, no, because I've never been like an asshole. And also I got humbled really badly by that crane. So that, you know, stopped <laughs> me from dating for a while because, you know, I had to relearn my, fa my you know, my face changed. So mm. I hurt my confidence oh, talking no. to women. Even this right now, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, you're thinking about Is how your Ethan eye looking looks? at my eye? Oh, really? Yeah, I think, I'm not. I think about that. Well, I'm looking in your eye. But that's what I would be doing anyway. Yeah, but it's it just in, insecurities. Yep. You know, I'm, oh, look, I'm an open book, and I'm going to be that on the show. I'm right. going to let them know my insecurities. Oh, I crane, crane fucking smashed him right in his head. And Lil Mo Mozzarella. <laughs> that's such a good sound bite grab. <laughs> wait, wait. Who said that? Lil Mo Mozzarella. Lil Mo? You don't know Lil Mo? You love him. I know Mutz King. The Mutz King? It's another, it's a nuts, another uh, mozzarella flavored influencer damn that was a good grab zach he's the best yeah we got it all we got it all so inspiring over and when, here so when you go out is I, it are you are women constantly throwing themselves at you do you have to make an effort i don't go out much but no not i mean not as much anymore and i never know the difference if it's like somebody knows me from online so i, I can't really trust to make you insecure whether you're saying can i can i trust that this person is interested in me yeah are they are, are they interested in perhaps getting exposure from me that's a th uh, yeah that's definitely a thing but i've been in situations where i i would hang out with a girl for like a whole date like a whole night mm -hmm. and they say oh i don't even know you i don't know any of your stuff and then they slip up and they say something like they'll mention somebody i shot with or oh that's lame why would they tana lie about it? or something and i'm like yo what the fuck why would you they follow lie? tana on instagram and like you're telling me you, know, you so i don't know i'm a little hesitant with certain situations but i well, trust that you'll vet these girls absolutely and, and i'll tell you what the ladies um are going to be pouring over the applicants so it's going to be combed through by women looking for uh tr uh true intentioned lovely women right sam i mean you're spearheading the, yes. the search uh there is going to be like a short little google form application and then you'll be able to attach the video in the application and you also have to provide <coughs> some proof of age so your id 25 um, you can blur out sensitive information but we have to be able to see your age we went with 25 and above but there could be exceptions if it's like somebody that's like a star athlete or something you that know you that you would go like down more yeah how far down would you go if there some 24 year old girls are probably more mature than i am okay you know so it depends i wouldn't want to shut it off completely there but also i was going to joke around with you and say like i want an 18 year old virgin only but i didn't know how <laughs> I, I know you're not like that i didn't know how you would take that in a text like i know a text. i know how you can are. i can that's i that's not that's not jeff go ahead what, what about like a 45 50 year old i would go i said i would go up to what i say 80. <laughs> yeah 80. We got no limit on the top side, <laughs> pretty much. Right yeah. Oh, so you want to go down to 24? I wouldn't go over 80 because then it's like, you know, how much time do you even have left with the person, you know? We were just talking about that. Right. And on the other Boring. side, 23 or 23 up. or 24? Yeah, that's about. You're 34? Yeah. Okay. I think that's okay. Uh, as of a couple weeks ago. So. I mean, 23, you're a fully actualized person, right? Should we do 24? But that's not my goal. I'm just saying I wouldn't want to exclude somebody yeah. that's like, okay. say like a, a like an Olympic high jumper or something. Let's that, say tw let's say 24. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And somebody that... Unless you're an Olympian. And, unless you're an Olympian. Then, 24. Then, we are, then we're flexible. 24. Fair, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, what is it about the Olympian that you're willing to uh, make the exception? I you want, want to I want an athletic son. I want to be the coach of my kids' uh, baseball team or whatever it is, track team. I want to be involved in that child's life. 
you know? And you think if you, if you are able to reproduce with a star athlete, it'll help my chances. This kid will that. be a, this kid will be a, a real athlete. Yeah. Interesting. I want that kid training martial arts straight out the womb. Karate, baby. Mm -hmm. My son's karate. a karate master. Yeah, that's great. My four-year-old, you should see him throw punches, man. That's Scary. great. Even if they don't have to use it, it just builds confidence. I in agree. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the stuff they do is really like just fun and, and silly and cute. They do like obstacle courses and stuff, but it's really cool. It's yeah. Fun. He loves it. No striking yet. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. They do like ninja courses. It's just it's just fun, silly stuff. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So look, we're the same, you and me. Yeah. I was. That was my top number one is athlete. Yeah. Nah. Well. He was a fucking gangster. Yeah, she, was, she is. She was in the military. She's very tall too. Yeah, that's. I mean, look, I trust you guys. You'll find me a nice, a nice one. So, um, when are we doing this? When are we? We're launching this on Valentine's Day, right? The submissions. Okay. So <laughs> here's how it works. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Okay, so everybody is going to send an application along with a video. Cody, please don't poke in like like that. You're going to freak out the. the oh, Cody's here. I was like, oh who, the, who is that? <laughs> hey, Cody. He got the address now. He's here. You guys just roll everywhere together, huh? Yeah, I needed to make sure you guys weren't setting me up over here. You know? <laughs> We're AP good, Cody. And side wraps me while I'm here. He just comes up and rock on me live. Clear. That's what people do now. That's like what live streaming is. You just get them on a live stream and you punch them in the face. And then that's how you blow up online now. Is that right? I thought that's what you guys were going to do today. <laughs> I, AB fucking sock me. Not and with then, Cody here. I would well, never. exactly. That's why I brought him. <laughs> so here's how it works. We get the application with a video. So we see, first of all, is the application good? And then we check the video. What is she like? And so once we make a short list of applicants with video, then we bring you in. What are you now? Are you down to like 20? Uh, Yeah. What do you think, Sam? I think 20 is good. Yeah, it's something like Bachelor 20. has like 35. Okay. And it all stays here in the studio. It doesn't go out into dates outside of here. Because I only watched the one that you sent me, and it was all here. You're just doing interviews on the show. We won't make you do anything you're not comfortable with. Traditionally, we have not filmed anyone on a date. I mean, that's, I thought that's what the point of the show is. You know? We can do that. I'd love to do that. I just, so far, everybody told me, no, you're not doing that. What? Who told you this? Ian. <laughs> Ian, I, I haven't even talked to Ian at all about this. Well, Ian kind of... No, it's because the show has failed both times before it got to that part. That's oh, not okay. true. That's not like true. Like I said, there's some details. What do you mean you fail? Uh, yeah. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. You guys are trying to derail this, and I don't appreciate it. And also, you're telling... You're defaming your own show. Okay? Let's be real. Two successes. One with Sam and Ian. The other one, which is more controversial, but yeah, but you it can't, worked out. You can't deny the love that they have with Moses and Trisha, who are now on their second baby. Yeah, it's produced two really two new lives dead. into the world because mm -hmm. of your show. Yes, that's incredible. Technic technically correct. That's technically correct. I mean, lost the. Uh, I'm not going to get to. Uh, Whatever, that's it. how life works, you know? Yeah, so, um... That's how Bachelor works. There was, so here's what happened. The first season, Ian, there's a rule. You cannot talk to them outside of the of the platform of the show. I'm so committed to this. Even <laughs> any girls that I was slightly talking to, like maybe dating a little bit, cut them all off. They don't even know why. They're all pissed off at you me. You can tell. Not that there was a lot. There was maybe like two that I was like kind of like talking to a little, but... You can tell them. You don't have to just ghost them. Well, I was kind of like, look, this show is kind of like bullshit, you know, it's just for entertainment purposes, but... That's what they say on The uh, Bachelor, too. Yeah. Their significant other. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> And then yeah, they exactly. have to watch me fall in love with someone else. That's so, the thing, they never expect it, but love comes. I know, and it comes when you're not looking for it. I, we I are looking, like. we're very much looking for it in this case. Every time I've ever found a, a girlfriend, someone I dated, it was always just random... I wasn't like, I need a girlfriend. Let me go out to this nightclub or something. Why is it that you're... Uh, how many um, serious relationships have you been in? Two. Okay. How long were they? Three years. Uh, I was the longest and one year. Was... One year. And and what happened, if I may ask, if you're comfortable, what, why did those relationships end? Uh, the one year, 
I went to jail and she cheated on me when I was in jail. But okay. I was supposed to go to jail for life. So you were in jail for how long? Uh, four months. Didn't you get off on a weird like? Yeah, I got off fluke. And it wasn't a fluke. It was a, they. What they did was illegal. It was a legal search and seizure. So, okay. So okay. So the case got thrown out. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be doing life. Uh, they were. That's what they charge you with. They charge you. They they always say like the, the biggest like charges to scare you and then your lawyer comes in and is like look i'm gonna get you down to eight years and then it's like oh thank you life but, though for selling but, drugs what a joke of a system I know, right but so okay so she was like he's going to jail for at least a really long time mm -hmm. so, yeah okay but like it was only a few months and in that time she cheated on me with my best friend's brother Oof. who was visiting in town because this is when i lived in miami so yeah <laughs> that one hurt so when you got out of jail relatively soon was there in, was there some kind of reckoning there? Did yeah. Cody pay a visit? No, no, no. Cody, I think Cody was in jail at that time too. <laughs> but um, I uh, when I got out, she was there, and I was just so happy. Just to, you know, I haven't seen sun in, in four months. You know, so I just felt so good to have the sun hit my skin. And then my friend, his friend, she pulled me aside. He's like, my my friend, she's no good. No, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then he told me what happened. And oh, he you didn't me, know. He showed me a picture. Yeah, they waited for me to get out. Which Did is you great, because if they she... let me know when I was in jail, I would it would have crushed me, you know? Just agonizing there in yeah. prison. So you didn't know that she cheated on you. You thought you guys were still together. when you Yeah. Got out. Okay. Yeah, but then when I got out, and then I found out, I was like, <laughs> I'm out, peace. And she was like trying to talk about it. She like, was no. trying to get back with you? Yeah, and I was like, yo, get, like, look, I'm, I'm going to walk away. Please don't follow me. Okay. And that was the end of it. That must have been painful, though. Yeah, but I got my freedom back. So it was like a, I, I had to lose something, mm. but I also gained something very... It's hard to look negatively when you get so much of your life back unexpectedly. Yeah, yeah. so if you're ever going to get cheated on, that was a good time to find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's interesting. That's and what about the three-year one? And also me going to jail, like, <laughs> that could be a question for the girls. Like, what happens if I end up doing a long prison sentence? Will you stay with me in that time? Will you be my pen pal? Will you come do conjugal visits, maybe? <laughs> You know, that's something well, what if that... they say no? They're like, it depends next, how long. Done. Next. Well, hold up, but hold on. Their honesty has got to be valiant in a sense that how long are you going to jail for? Depends the crime. 10 uh, years, 15 years, you know what I mean? She's got to stand by that I mean, whole time. There's no statute of limitations for murder. So, I, I mean, that's something I would want to avoid, you know? Um, so, you're saying you have killed someone, you just haven't been charged for it yet. They haven't found the body. You can't, like, weed, you can't sell weed anymore because it's, you know, decriminalized. It's, the government makes the money on it. And okay. there's, you can't, there's no more room for us guys to make that money so you're saying, in between. So you're saying you're no, the market for selling drugs is closed. Yeah, because the government stepped in and started doing it. And you're saying you can't, well, you can't murder people because there's no statute of limitation. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying you're going to be law Like, say I go to like Belize or something, I try to leave, they can extradite you and they'll find you. Even they will Belize? find you. Yeah, they'll find you. They'll fucking, if you kill somebody in America, they'll find you. There's no getting away. Hold on. Which country? Let's find out just to play that. Let's see if they'd be comfortable living in the country. Know, Antarctica? Go up there extradite and just get it. <laughs> to USA. Get some sort of like. Here you go. Igloo. China, Indonesia, Iran, Mongolia, Qatar. Saudi Arabia, Taiwan, Ukraine, Vietnam, and most African nations, and most former Soviet states. So, hmm. pretty interesting options. Okay. Right? Where would you go of all these options? Um, I guess Saudi Arabia. I don't know. I've never been. China. Cody just went to the Wall of China. Is that right? Yeah, he went by himself just to visit the Wall of China. Wow. Do you get in any trouble with any of the... Do you get in trouble over there? I'm pretty good outside the country. Does he have a oh, mic? Does he, he's yeah, yeah I give him a mic. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, nice. that's real interesting, Cody, that you traveled by yourself to China. That's interesting. Yeah, he don't too, need nothing. Um, it's too complicated to try to plan trips for people. Complete right. Schedules and just got to do it on your own. What do you think about China? What do you think about the wall? Honestly, the I'm very fond of Asia. The people are very welcoming. Um, there's no litter on the floor, so it's super clean. The food's really good. Everybody's homeless? respectful. Shows a lot of gratitude. Is there Very a homeless thankful. Cody? Um, I love it. He nope. loves the homeless. But okay. it's like it's like starting over because it's super complex. Uh, the whole Chinese culture. 
How do you communicate cool. out yeah. there? I use them. Google Translate and Google Maps to navigate Gene. my way. That's all you need. Yeah. In this day and age, it's really yeah. cool. So I guess That's we can how open I date up girls the, outside the country. We can open up right. the dating show to all nations, all languages. Specifically, China, Indonesia, and Iran, Mongolia, <laughs> Qatar, Saudi to, Arabia. You need to go there. <laughs> all right. Plan. Yeah. Are you comfortable wearing a full body, uh, bur- uh, uh, what is it called? That they wear in- uh, hijab? That, yeah. Uh, are you comfortable wearing a full hijab? Because that would be in Saudi Arabia expected, right? I think so. Yeah, I'd have to be respectful of their culture, <laughs> of course. All right, exciting. <clears throat> so you're not going to be mad if I end up doing a spinoff show of our our thing here. We could collab I don't on care. it. I just want to do ours first, of course. It just I don't want to be dealing with the same people parallel. Yeah. That yeah. would be that would just be awkward. Okay. You got any celebrities or anything in, in there that you could throw in? Maybe like, uh, who's that girl you had on your show? Pokimane? She's, I'll, reach out to her. Okay. Yeah. You that, like, you uh, like Pokimane? I don't know. I kind of, I think so. She said nice things about me on the show. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I oh, caught fantastic. That part. You know, she's a fan. She might be watching right now. She does frequent. Okay. I can yeah. reach out. Sure. I'll reach it, out to all the way. But it, I just be nice for somebody. I'm not looking for somebody that wants to become an influencer or something like that. But if somebody already has an established career yeah. and they understand the sort of flow of work that we have, mm-hmm. where our brains are always thinking, what's a good bit for the show? What, mm-hmm. what am I going to do tomorrow on the show? Mm. And they're working on this edit or like, what the hell is AB doing? You should be fucking with Zach. What's, mm-hmm. Where's the That's sound bite? I was thinking about. You know? So. <laughs> It'd be nice to have somebody that kind of gets Everything. what we do for a living. That that true. That'll be true. good. So, but also, it's not just like it doesn't have to only be that. So, well, we're putting out the call to the whole world, and uh, I think they're gonna they're gonna come, like like moths to a flame. Okay, and yeah. I don't even I don't, I don't know if uh, any of these people I mentioned have are in relationships. So, I don't, I don't think know. she is, but I don't know. It could be private. Uh, is there any other influencers that uh, <laughs> you want to put the call out to? Um, I mean that one. I didn't even think I was gonna say that one right now. But um, let me think. Does she? Do we have Pokey on Discord? Um, I don't know. Can sure. you check? Why you she, she's available out right now. Does she have OnlyFans? No, she don't. She's not that type of girl. She, no, she doesn't do OnlyFans or anything. Yeah, I I knew it. Stupid question. Hit yeah. the button and. Uh, you can no, no, no. <laughs> and and the only and would only ban only fans be a problem? Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Which is fair. I don't. Think I could get past things. I've said things in the past, like vaping, no vaping, but like <laughs> no that's, vaping. That's fine. Like I, I could get past that. I have problems myself. I'm not perfect, you know. So I, I'll I'll look past vaping if I find the one that just has a vaping addiction. <laughs> okay, that's good that you're willing to compromise on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the OnlyFans, I mean, I don't think you have to apologize. It's, you know, it's a preference and, you know, it's totally understandable. It's totally fine. Uh, yeah, I'll be just fr- message her, see if she responds, Dan. I'll just be friends hey. with, uh, you know, her. I'm friends with tons of girls that have OFs. I support it, but just for my own significant other that I'm going to commit my life to, I, I would probably not want her putting all her stuff out there for everybody to see. You prefer the uh, hijab? Shoot me, you know? No, no, no. I don't think anyone would be mad at that, you know? It's, it's, to- it's a preference. You know, some guys are okay with it, some aren't. It's not a value judgment okay. if what they're doing is right or wrong. It's not wrong. Yeah. It's just a preference. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, every time I say okay on the show, it's, I feel like, it's, <laughs> okay. We got you again. Why don't you okay. do more of those debates? Why don't you bring more people on and argue okay. with them? I'm trying. It's hard to find good people. Because that, you know how, like, my skill, like, we're in this business as, you know, entertainers, but we have a, a skill, like I'm a barber. Okay. I think you're the best in the world at debating, are you? Are you in? Whoa. Thank yeah. you. At least in our field, you know? Best in the biz, thank yeah. you. You know, I, I enjoy doing those as well. We're, we're, we're uh, actively looking for people to, to bring and on. And when people don't know what they're getting into, like me or like some other like dumb kid, and they come on here and you yeah. just fucking smoke them. Every argument they have, you have a rebuttal for and you just crush them. It, it's That's surprising how many people come on yeah. with no idea. I mean, the, my favorite one, I don't know if you saw it, was the Nexium, the Tourette's guy. I didn't see it. No. That, that was one of our first ones. Oh, did he fake? He, had he Tourette's? says he cured Tourette's. Oh. Uh, had Tourette's. Yeah, yeah. 
So I led him on this whole time for like an hour that I was a fan of him and Nexium, and then I broke it to him. I was like, I have Tourette's and you're a fucking con man. Damn. It was, cr- it was good. I mean, it was pretty nuts. nuts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty nuts that that played out so well. Have a good night. That's that, good. That's I like, him. I like the time you invested into that. <laughs> Yeah, it turned out real good. Mastermind shit. Mastermind debater. All right. So um anyway, we'll 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 whittle it down to twenty and then we'll bring you in and we'll do our, uh, our episode one where you meet the ladies. All on screen. On screen, you'll see the video, we'll learn about them. We'll meet the ladies. Okay. And then the second part is the call in, is that right? Catherine McBroom is single. <laughs> Bring her in. Bring her on the show. She deserves better. Absolutely. She went through hell with that scumbag. Are you willing to adopt Idiot. kids? Kids. Are you willing to be the dad that stepped up? Not the stepdad. The dad that stepped Both. up. I mean, I prefer not to, but I will if I have to. Pokey's know. watching. Um, Pokey, are you single? And apologies for being so forward, but we need to know. I should have never opened my mouth. Well, well you boy, know what it is. You know, you. Why don't we just get to the haircut? Sure, but things are happening that you can't undo. I think we'd be a good, a good match. I think so. We'd be a fucking power she's, couple. She's she's super nice. She's super funny. Yeah. She has. She's she's great. She's a well. I mean, she's you know, she has. Pro- she's a boss. You know, she's on she's top. She's a big of her earner. Stuff. Yeah. Also, you should know she has a lot of simps. That's like a known thing, right? I don't know anything about that. Not the, I'm not calling you one, but I, <laughs> the internet culture around her. Yeah. Snap around, it, Dan but, is um, a simp? No, the, she has lots of simps. Okay. Lots of guys that That's a fucking simp. lust after her. All but right. She, but she's just, but that, but you're, a, you have simps too, probably. Yeah, that's yeah. unavoidable. What are they going to do? Come shoot me? Well, that has happened before. Come fucking shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we love it. And Catherine McGroom, if you're watching. I know you are. So, Pokey is watching on her stream. Let me yeah. pull it up. Yeah, I'm up. I'm watching right now. I got you. I'll see what I'm she says. I'm embarrassed now, man. That's okay. This is, this is the done. beginning. She okay. made... <laughs> okay. Let's see. We're going to watch this okay. Butterfinger ad for Pokey. Dude, the ads on Twitch are so good. It pisses me off. Like, these... The t- Dude, they get... Their CPM is crazy. I should just start posting there. My last video got age restricted down to hell. Oh, yeah. I wanted to it down to hell. That pissed me off because i risked my life multiple times uh um, here she is let's see what she's saying uh, let's see stay hidden in a box I'm like, that's just dumb yeah. okay yeah. every time i say okay on the show it's, i feel like okay we got you again why don't you okay. more of those debates why don't you bring more people and argue okay. with them? i'm trying it's hard to find good people oh god she's got the stanley that cup we're in this business massive. Massive. Somebody, somebody tell her there's lead in the best in the world at debating are you in oh, thank yeah. you at least in our there's field yeah. in the thank yeah. you you know i i enjoy doing those as well we're, we're, we're uh, actively looking no teeny he just and mentioned me because i think he's doing they come on here and you a show with them every argument they have you have a rebuttal for and you just crush them it's more specific than that girl yeah. no idea. i will I'm say though i freaking one, love i love the h3 community so much okay so i let him on this whole time for like an hour that i would know what a gal then i broke it to him i was like i have to let you fucking on man damn it was good i mean pretty much pretty much she's about caught up at that time i like the time you invest into that yeah, it turned out real good. Mastermind shit. Mastermind here. It comes. All right, so um, here it comes. Anyway, we'll, we'll, Jeff we'll Crushing, he called you a boss. Is that later, later on in the show? He called. Oh, on screen. Because I do appreciate that. We'll meet the the pokey, okay. I want you. And then do you, would you call into the, in the show? I, I know it's, the it's hard to communicate like this, but tell Pokey. <laughs> How delayed is this shit? It, well, it's like a double delay. Yeah, and ours is ours. Are you delayed? Apologies for being so poor. We have like 20 seconds. I should never open my mouth. Well, you know what it is. You know, you can get to the haircut. But things are happening that you can't undo. I think we'd be a good, a good match. I think she'd so. be a fucking power. She's, she's super nice. She's super funny. Yeah. She has. Okay. <laughs> she's great. She's, I mean, no, she's, she has a boss. You know, she's. Uh, oh, she. Yeah. Oh, you should know she has a lot of. Oh, she ends like a she, no, She's hey. bailing. She has lots of sims. Okay. Did I just get rejected? <laughs> I don't think so. Right. But she just, but maybe she was I saying. I got female sims too. I'll tell you that much. You're, you have sims too, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe what she's just embarrassed. Well, or maybe she's saying she's going to contact you. We love it. And Catherine McRoom, if you're watching. I know you are. So Pokey's watching on our stream. Let me yeah. pull it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching right now. I got you. I'm All right, so, 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 we're caught up. We caught, I'm shy. we caught you. Yeah. Dude, the ads on Twitch are so good. It we caught her. No. All right, so she's going to call in. I'm sure of it. Oh, she's, I'm she's, so nervous now. This could be episode one. Oh, is it? A Maybe this is it. Maybe, and this is the thing. I'm here for true love. I don't care about, the yeah, show same. is secondary. Same. So if you guys click right now, then I'm, we're going to just call it. Can it? Yeah. I'll can mine too. 
my this my will be the my third time that this has happened. But the <laughs> but Dan, you you're missing the trees for the forest, brother. Mm -hmm. Whatever, Dan. We'll find the new concept for a show we can it's do not, on it's, Valentine's Day. It doesn't matter if it's in or outside the boundaries of the rules of the show. The point is, Dan, that we've influenced the world. Fuck you the say that now. We you live in. We so you were so upset. I love both times. I love don't make me pull the clips. Well, now I'm not. Of you berating people. Okay, but this. now with hindsight, you've been, you've I understand the, the power that okay. our show has <laughs> in, in, in matching people up. Have you heard from Pokey? No, I sent her a message, though. She's that rejecting me. Him, this is, see, this, I'm, I'm fucking... She seemed so bashful, I'm in love. which is good, I think. She what? seemed bashful. Did she? I think so. Yeah. She threw up the ending the stream card. What? Yeah, me. that was like using that like a little. That seems bad. No, that's not. No, good. that's bashful. No, I think it was bashful. Yeah, I don't think it was a bad thing. What do you mean by bashful? Uh, She's uh, being embarrassed but flattered. Oh, okay. Uh, and kind of right. I mean, she's yeah. flattered. She's embarrassed. Yeah. She's interested. <sighs> she's playing know. Pal World. Okay, so, Ethan. <laughs> Ducky. Ducky. Yeah, it's a good name. Ducky. Do you have any, um, if you were to have kids with, uh, uh, your perfect match, do you have any baby names that yeah, you already have? Yeah, I got a list, yeah. Would you say them now, or you keep Yeah, I'll say some. Yeah, um, well, I, I wanted to end, I was thinking Outlaw Wittick would be cool, because it's <laughs> Outlaw? like, Outlaw? <laughs> but also, I, oh, no. I meant, Wait, is, that two, is that first name, middle name? Uh, no, that'd be first name. First name, okay. It, it, like, it ends in W, and Wittick starts with W, that'd be cool. Also, so outlaw, Chaos. I, I want to name my kid Chaos. Okay, oh, all right. Sick. sick. That's probably something to discuss. Nice. With Pokey? Yeah, with, yeah, yeah, no, those are good options. She, she named, her, her real name can't be Pokey Mane. No, it's e, it's e main right? Or, it's it's Iman. Iman. E Iman. So, so she's, she's, she's down to do some... She's, yeah. She's half uh, Moroccan. 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 She's yeah. half Moroccan. Wow. Iman, e Iman, e yeah. I did 23 and Me recently. Well, my brother did. So what did that... you turn out to be? 100% that bitch? <laughs> nah, no. <laughs> I uh, I came back 66%. Guess what it is? Italian. Uh, Sicilian. Huh? The motherland. Sicilian. Oh, yeah, the, the real deal. The father is, is the real deal. deal. Talk to the me now. Nice. fields. And you know when he falls down and dies at the end in the olive fields? That's where I'm from. That's where I was born. Shit. Well, not me. I, my family. You you came from Michael's ashes, uh -huh. like a phoenix. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this bit that you guys do, it's offensive. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> no, no. I've always no, said no, I'm that. Kidding. I'm kidding. I, I love yeah, this. Well, I love. Oh. This Have you heard the term uh, Italiaphobia? No. It's a real hate crime. People are are waking up to it. I've never heard that. Those I, Italians, I, I, I love the Italians. But people like Italians. I have. You know the weatherman on my show, Ryan. Mm -hmm. He always calls in, and we get an argument. He lied to everyone in his high school and told everyone he was Italian when he's zero percent Italian, but he went his whole high school. Oh, that's interesting. Telling people that he- But why did he, he drop the, I mean, after dedicating all of high school, I'd think you would keep going with it. <laughs> well, yeah. After high school's done, you get a new chance. He moved to LA and he was like, you know what, I'm gonna, drop, I'm gonna the drop the lie. Yeah, I finally get an opportunity to drop this lie. <laughs> I see, I see. That's funny. Live the truth. I actually, uh, not to brag or anything, but Ela is fifteen percent Italian, which means wow. my kids are seven and a half percent. Damn! So, well, you're not the on. only one. You're not the only one. The family. Yeah, we're related somewhere along the way. All right. I knew it. We look so similar. Mm -hmm. Hairlines. You I know what? It could be something Italian. with the hairline. Because how are we still going? We've been doing YouTube for these many years, dealing with the stress of this career. But it hasn't affected our hairlines whatsoever. You have a great hairline. All the beefs you had, you too. All like the beefs you had, all the cancellations, all the stress, the lawsuits. Doesn't Manis stay on, in my hairline? I mean, my, I'm fucked up mentally and physically, but the hairline has... Uh, it doesn't affect it. It's, it's held strong. It's impressive. It's our, she, it's our, it's our DNA that we share. Is she not calling in? I don't think so. No, she's playing Pal World. My mic was on mute, but Cody oh, said that. Playing video games swerve. over the world. Fucking swerve. Cody said that he lied too in high school. My, my mic was on mute when he was talking. <laughs> you lied about being Italian, Cody? Yeah, because, you know, you grew up in New York City. Is you're around a bunch of Italian people, so it was the cool thing to be. You know, the Italian gangster movies. Mm, just, right. It was part of the culture. 
So what are you? You're not Italian. Um, I'm European, so I'm Irish, I'm Puerto German, Rican. Now aren't you Puerto Rican? And Spain, and then I'm half Puerto Rican. Okay. Okay. We love. That's Puerto. cool. Yeah, that's that, what they told me I was. So, <laughs> I know, have you done a 23 of me to me. just see? He don't Puerto want his stuff. Rico. He don't want the government having his. That's smart. You're, honestly, that's not even a bad. My, uh, I wouldn't do it, but my brother did it, and he put on the thing Stu. It was his first name, and his last name was Pididiot. So <laughs> got him. <laughs> And that that's Padidiot? Stupid idiot. Auto. No, I got he, I, he didn't Mr. Want, Padidiot? He didn't want to give like because <laughs> they could find out that you have a history of cancer in your um what's it called? Uh like DNA. Mm -hmm. And then your insurance companies get involved and they're like, no, they're gonna we're gonna raise their insurance, whatever. So I, he was just all, my brother's a nut job. He's like, I don't want them raising my health insurance. But he's got but they've got his DNA. Like, yeah, right. Not his name. But they don't know yeah. it's his. I mean, but you know what I mean? Or, uh, they don't know it's they his. Have DNA. The DNA, they'll figure it out. DNA. They'll find like a cousin that's related and then right. like that's how they found the Golden State Killer. Oh yeah. About that? It's so crazy. The Golden State Killer was like the most fucked up serial killer in California history. He just he murdered and R worded like uh so many people and he would it was like mega effed up. He would like hog tie the husband and then R word the wife. God damn. And um, it went on for like 20 years and he was never caught. <clears throat> and uh, people have always been obsessed with the case. And it happened like five or 10 years ago that through um, DNA testing, they were able to sequence his DNA, look in the DNA database, and they found somebody who was like a, a cousin. Oh, yeah. Or something like that, or a second cousin or something. Yeah. And so from there, they they visited that person uh -huh. and started testing everybody close to them and they fucking they found out they found him from his from DNA, DNA. From like his DNA semen not, and stuff there? yeah they found they had a DNA uh, sample from one of his crime scenes artwork and all these in front of their husband's title it's like a clockwork orange you ever see that movie yeah no it's it is like that it's fucked up damn and guess what he was a cop damn retired fucking cop you hear that Cody I can't believe it you know, what the cops. What about them? They're worse. They're worse than us. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> we love the police. We love the police. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I look at them as human beings, and you put them in a position of power, and you know, there's good and there's bad. We What's the that. difference between a cop and a criminal? They're both looking to find drugs. I should have been a politician. How about that? Absolutely. I'm in the wrong Sometime. business. Uh, Cody for Prez. We're getting those felonies expunged. It's not too late. There's a new law they just passed in California. It's the only state that offers it. You can get your felonies expunged. So it doesn't matter what it is. No, it matters. Just no murder. Nonviolent, right? Qualify. Nonviolent oh. crimes, and my crimes are only uh, traffic and weed. So, so those are that seems spongeable. Easy, yeah. And right. then what were your crimes, Cody? Um, possession. Yeah, and, and, um, you, don't have to, you don't have to answer everything he asks you, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm curious if you're willing Everything. to say. Go down just the list. a probation violation. Yeah. That's it. He's done. Well, you know California is a prison state, right? He's been in and out of jail Worst since he's 15. He did a year in juvenile when he was 15 Do to you 16. Know California, Sheesh. they charge $100,000 of taxpayers' monies to house inmates. So some people actually. are worth more in prison than on the street. Think about that. It's, it's fucking nuts. And Michael Jordan, Bill Gates, a bunch of them own private prisons. Is and that right? Yeah, and the state just Bill Gates? It. I gotta know if that's true. No, it's true. Google that. They even have inmate firefighters in California. Look it up. They pay you a dollar an that's hour true, to yeah. fight forest fires. And you oh, sleep I've seen the, a whole documentary. And you about sleep that. on mm. the side of the mountain for a time cut for thirty three percent. Did you see the Bill movie Melinda they just Gates made Foundation. with Angelina Jolie? It's on Netflix. There, she's a firefighter, and it's like this shit is not believable. Yeah, you, you got Angelina Jolie. She just looks like a perfect fucking. <laughs> she was made in the lab, and she's a firefighter. Right, right. With the guys just hanging out. It's like a GI Jane type of thing. Yeah, but Gates Foundation Trust invests in private prisons again. What the fuck, Bill? Couldn't you find another vertical? Like, okay, <laughs> maybe it makes you a lot of money, but Jesus like software Christ, development. bro. Look into software development, Bill. I hear there's a lot of money there. It's a UK oh, it's a UK thing. Uh well, this particular one. I think they they have investments all over the world. They know? upped their investment in the UK private prison group. So they're like, this is a great investment. Let's do more. 
Double down, baby. Yeah, it is. It's disgusting, Cody. A hundred thousand. Can you imagine how so much yeah, good so you think can do? About it, the average person. People don't make don't that much the, money. Not even close. What the yeah. payroll is an average salary. You you you're worth more than being housed in prison. Double, really? Yeah, double. The average salary these days, what, like fifty-five thousand? There you go. Something like that. You don't it make the like cut. You go to prison. My parents didn't make that. It went. It's been going up a lot. Yeah. When we were younger, it was like thirty or something. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, it's been going up. Damn, I can't believe Pokey dissed me. I know. That hurts. I don't know if I want to do this show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We've I been actually, stung. Uh, I just but, like, got a text from someone who was on The Actual Bachelor telling me that they are interested in you. <gasps> who? Uh, 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 right in Discord I, who it was. Yeah, Don I, guy. Well, I had, I had their permission that I can say who it was. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Jessenia. Oh, she's awesome. I never watched the show. She's, she's Bachelor... Um, <clears throat> She's bachelor royalty, and she's really? a she's a she's a friend of the show, a fan of the show. She's watching Jasenia Cruz. I'll show you. She's been on before. Oh, she's the oh, one that wow. came by that one. Yeah, yeah she's really yeah, cool. okay. Yeah, she's great. She's she has a great reputation on the show too. She's one of these characters that everybody likes. She's never been like shady or anything. Yeah, and she's super nice, and she likes this show, which is vibes. That's the main thing about her. So there you go. Um. Also, uh, your guy's boy, Mike Majlak, just uh, gifted 10 memberships on the- uh, Hey, Mikey. Shout Ching. out, Mike. Hey, yo, I like, by the way, I saw on Twitter, you were like, fuck, you were tagging YouTube and shit. You're like, fuck you. Like, the blood's on your hands. The no, blood's on your hands. And then Mike goes, this will help for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I was with him at the time and I was just snapping out because- you know, it sucks when you put a bunch of work into something Mike. and then it just gets shut down. Like, you know, we don't I know the fuck. Feeling. We don't appreciate you, <laughs> you know, fuck you. And it was yeah. a risky video. Though. Of course. I, I figured it was a, there was a chance it was gonna get hit. But also the message was test your drugs. It's easy to get these strips. You could order them on Amazon, you get them for free. I told people where to get them for free. That was the whole message of the video. Just make it the normal to test your drugs, mm -hmm. you know? So if I'm saying it, then maybe some kids in a nightclub over here at fucking what do you, what is it bootsy bellows or one i don't even know anymore i don't go out but just like maybe they'll be in the bathroom about to sniff off a key and like hey did you see jeff's video and test then they that. pull out a strip and they test it saves their lives Could i would be. save one life there who knows how many lives that would save if it was not age restricted and not you, people man. sub boxes and people couldn't see it's not recommended youtube so now essentially has die. murdered people people will die and yeah who's the who's blood's blood on whose hands youtube's that's right they're murderers. I stand by it. We're, 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 this is our. This is where we work, and we just do shit like this. What to say? They're murderers. Yeah, it's probably oh, not good. They, do? Eh, they don't care. They're too big. To but care. it is true. But they yeah, did kill no, people. They, they have killed people, and they will kill again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but I, I'll say this about Jeff, and we'll move on to the haircut. You seem to me, from every impression I've got, to be a a, a real gentleman. You don't go out, you don't date a lot, you don't fuck, you don't sleep with a lot of women, you don't sleaze around. You seem to be a guy that appreciates a good, solid relationship based on trust and understanding. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I and I think, and that's how I see, I think you are, you're a gentleman like that. Yeah, the thing I worry about is that I'm, I'm too much of a gentleman that when I find the one, I'll be so obsessed that I will devote my life to her and making sure she's happy all the time and I will slack on my career. And then <laughs> these people that watch us will miss out. There you guys, you hear that? His only fear is being too in love with you. Yeah, he's too good of a guy. <laughs> I share that fear, my friend. <laughs> um, okay. His biggest flaw is he's too good of a guy. Yeah. All right, yeah. so, um, Let's do this low tapered fade, bro. All right, let's. Thanks do it. for coming, by the way, to do this. Yeah, of course. C can I ask a question, real sure. quick, about the video? Were you guys using the Ray Ban glasses? In that no, video? the Ray Ban glasses only record for a minute, so I had to get like these other ones off Timu, and they had a big blinking light on the side. So I'm, oh, okay. walking, <laughs> I'm walking into the cartel uh, <laughs> place, and the guy catches the glasses. He's like camera camera and i'm like no no bluetooth is music Mu and like they were like not having uh, it they okay. saw the fucking these glasses that's why i was curious because you mentioned the blinking light so i thought maybe there's a ray ban oh that's, that's funny. funny no no I, yeah the ray bands only had a minute we, had, we were recording for like four hours that night all i get over. the real spy sheet probably need to get some like uh 
certification to buy or something, eh? Because I know there's real spy shit. There's not light. We could have put tape over the red light, like just black tape, and it would have been fine. But Kyle brought blue tape, mm -hmm. so, like uh, light that, blue tape. That's why I thought it was the Ray Bans as well, because I know they have a safety thing built in where if you cover it, they won't record. If you try to cover oh, the light, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're pretty. But I found a trick. Once I was getting caught, I just put them on my shirt, and nobody looked at the glasses uh, on oh. the shirt. I'm gonna yeah. go to the bathroom, okay. and then I'll be right back. Right. And, uh, I'll set up. Yeah, we'll, we'll get go. ready. Perfect. All right. Okay. Well, we gotta start up. talking because this is gonna be added to the dead air. Check the what? Oh, the donation tab. Okay. Let's look at some donos. Uh, somebody donated 10 bucks and said uh, on Cav Cav, Triller released their S1 on the SEC website. You can scroll through it and see his employment agreement and see that he has family on the board and some of the deals. That is interesting. I'll look through that. Thank allegedly. You. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, no, not allegedly. <laughs> uh huh? Not allegedly. Oh, is it, you know, no, this is, the, this is their official filing to go public on the stock market. But you and I haven't read that. That commenter has. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. This commenter. Uh, come on. That's why I just I, 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 throw it yeah, yes. you know, It's yeah, a good it's call. Just, it's a good call. Be safe, uh, somebody donated $10 and said, can you still apply for the bachelor? It, the applications haven't started. So yes, I guess. We'll make You're it very not too clear. Late. We'll You're make it very late. clear on all social medias yeah. where, where to go, yes, where to and, vote. And just... For the handful of you that have been sending your applications to me personally, that is not the place to send them. They will be immediately deleted uh, with peace and love. Yes, please do not send any applications or videos to my email yet. <laughs> there will be a dedicated email. Do not do that. For you are not entered it. if you are, have sent it already. Right. Uh, Tony said, uh, donated 20 bucks and said, Ethan, I don't pay five bucks a month for exclusive content. I pay for your personal information. As oh. long as they cut that out, it should be allowed. P.S. Any update about uh, getting on the unscripted podcast? What was that? Um, was that the one that Kavanaugh went on? I believe so, yes. Right. I don't know if there's been an update with that. I'll ask Olivia when she gets back. She reached out. They're, they're, they're afraid. They're cowards. They're cowards over there at the Unscripted Podcast. Uh, Sebastian Chavez said, Yo, Ethan, I was in Hitty of... What? <laughs> what is this Sebastian one? Let me see. I was Murray. in the Hitty of an epic hit and run. This happened in the part of Texas that gave... Okay. I was like, in the middle of an epic hit and run, probably, right? They're like actively chasing another car or something this happened in part of texas that gave off major sundown town vibes if i am missed the extortion deadline then i can i get a birthday soundbite 20. yes you can you can get a birthday soundbite <laughs> for that I, for that i'll give you that i feel like i'm having a stroke <laughs> wait are yeah. they are they 20 or 21 uh, they're seemingly 20 it's in parentheses it says 20. So. that was very confusing uh, yeah i hope you're okay sebastian <laughs> i hope you don't yeah <laughs> i hope you're not in a, an active car chase right now yeah okay here you go sebastian I, 20. you know <laughs> there you go 20. I'm gonna end up in a body cam video uh <laughs> yeah. Let's see, uh, JJ, hey, therapist intern here and also di diagnosed with OCD. There's a type of OCD called existential OCD, involves obsession, obsessive thoughts about mortality. I recommend the book, Time, and The Art of Living. Okay, okay. The Art of Living. Uh, um, I Zach recommend the Bible. Huh? On God. <laughs> yeah. You only read the Bible? One book, one God, brother. Hell yeah. One life. Uh, there's a Love. shout out to Love and his uh, mustache. The Lorax army standing <laughs> back and standing by. The ready mustache, to back you up. The mustache is disappearing looks, to, tonight. What cape looks better, man? What's that? What cape looks? What color would be better? Uh, probably the black one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The so mustache is, the, is gone tonight. Though. Is the low tapered fade? Is that a difficult haircut? No. No. It's the first one I learned when I started cutting hair. It's a popular haircut. It was the one that was taken off in Staten Island when I was like 15 when I started my barber career. Okay. And Hey, Ducky. Hi. At one point, that was the only haircut I knew how to do. I'm going to move back so. a bit. Okay, so this is the, your longest running cut. 
Yeah. Now there's a there's a low tapered fade. There's a high tapered fade also, right? Um, AB, keep it. I, oh I, wow, I have this a is feeling nice. Ducky's gonna want to get in the hair. Yeah, the hair's gonna get all over Ducky, and then Ducky's gonna run all through your house and your bed tonight. Yeah, you know, he's your hair get all hairy and shit. You want something to drink? I'm good. You good? Thanks. Just keep. That hey, he's definitely gonna get into the hair. He's trouble. So he gets into everything. Do you want it like Pauly D style? Do you want to let me with... open? Let me see what you mean by that. Cause I got product. I could get you that blowout. Oh spice. no, I don't want. I don't want like. I I don't like the Pauly D look, dude. That guy has got like a whole bottle of gel in his hair. Bro, it's don't crazy. talk about my boy like that. I didn't. You know, it's it's his look. But I mean, do I want my head to look like um? That's sick. Wolverine's fucking claws. No. That's sick. Are you kidding me? That's the best hair in Hollywood. <laughs> you still tight with the D? Yeah. Nice. Did you find me in the situation? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's interesting. Let's see. Why? Wait. Right there. <laughs> oh, you're, you're friends with the Sitch? What's that about? Um... So, when the show moved down to Miami, I went along with them as their barber because they're all from Staten uh, Island. I went to high school with Vinny, and I was Vinny's barber in high school. So when they moved there, I was like, "Fuck it, fuck Staten Island. I want to get out of here. This is a good excuse." So I went down there, was filming the show, and I would ask them questions while I cut their hair, and I was mic'd up with MTV, and that was like how the barbershop show started. You were on TV. They yeah. used your cuts. They they cut most of it, but they left in like. I like little parts and this huh. part i was smoking a cigarette in it and my mom didn't know that i smoked cigarettes mm -hmm. and i was like mom be on mtv i was so excited and the first clip she saw was me smoking a cigarette Plus, <laughs> yeah, damn, they did you dirty they for told her it was acting <laughs> true it was fake okay right. so i'm gonna give you a, a low taper but it doesn't have to be spiked like those wolverine spikes what do you think well here let's let's do a google search here well what, what was the guy singing about who is he Hello? ninja Low Ninja taper, low taper fade. fade. Yeah. Do you like that? Beard lineup see. and everything. We could do all that. <laughs> the beard lineup. Fuck it. Wait, where Let's did that go. image go? This is gonna be sick. This? Well, my hair is not like that. Yeah. No, it'll look. It'll look like that. The one below that has curly hair. Right below. Scroll down a little bit on the left. This dude. That's not <laughs> yeah. curly hair. That's, That's you. Really cool. <laughs> on the left. Do you like that? That's curly. <laughs> hey, he's got a lot of hair up there. Fuck me. I want to see the lineup and everything. Dude. Okay, here we go. That this, shit up. Nice. Hell yeah, that's bro. the one I was trying to say. His skinny's gonna have uh, like red lines. Like, he might even, <laughs> he might I guess like this. I don't know. You know. Yeah. Look at the. Yeah. The chart. On I think that's the one. Here you go. Right. Just so you know. Uh, you so. Know. <laughs> It's faded, all right. The haircut starts from the back. I could start from the front for dramatic effect if you guys just want to eh, fuck it. Go for yeah. it. Do whatever you want. Look, you see that sideburn? You want to come over here? By the way, I'll be on Jeff's show tomorrow. We're doing it live, right? We're doing it live because you wanted to do it live. Nice. We've never done a live show. I thought you, someone told me you do it live for members or something. I do it live on Patreon, but I'm terrified to do it live on my main YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Do okay. it live! It's okay. good that you're going to be the first guest for that. Um, also, I know you're saying that because you think I'm experienced, but I am a huge <laughs> liability. Yeah. Yeah? Well, nah, I'll be good. Bro, you want to borrow the button tomorrow? I'm already in hot water. I can't lose the other one right now. It's okay. Ethan can behave himself when he's yeah, yeah. trying to. Just sometimes all that out. I'm actually cutting with a half right now, basically skin, but yeah, get rid of all that shit, dude. Yeah, look at all that on the neck. You want to get rid so, of how much you charge for a for a cut like this? I don't really do it for money anymore. If you were, I used to cut hair for fifteen dollars. Right. Just a regular barber shop. Check me out. All right. So as Jeff's doing that. Let's see what else we got. Just remember you're showing the screen now. Careful. Oh, let me close this. Tell me if Ethan got a low well, taper fade. You should call somebody in and debate them. <laughs> That'd be sick. You got anyone in mind? Who wants to go to war right now? Call in. That would be kind of iconic to be just getting a haircut. 
Why we you have Mike dreading? on the line. Can we have Mike call in and talk about, you know, well, you call him out on things that he's done in the past. Mm, sure. <laughs> or, been, or been involved in. Just yell at Mike for being a <laughs> scammer or something. Dink doink. He's heard enough about Dink doink, poor What's guy. deal with that? Who knows how involved he was? Let's call him. But let's go. Okay. <laughs> Was that true about what, during the live show, that you said Logan was pissed off? Uh, or was that a gag? No, Mike was, I was talking to Mike. I wasn't actually talking to Logan. I have to talk to Logan through Mike. Because he's, right, he's, yeah. yeah. Um, but did you see Logan, not Logan Paul, got viciously KO'd recently? Oh no, he did? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, let me pull that up. I, he, he told me he was boxing, I was real excited for him. I thought he was going to crush it too. It's funny, Fake you guys, who Logan. picked that clipper in the thumbnail? That's like some cheap... That's Cam. That was just the first one on Google. Yeah. yeah. That's cool, I guess. So this is... What's a good one? I can replace it. Andis. What is it? Andis. Andis. Gotcha. So our boy took the L, huh? Damn. He was so excited, he thought he was gonna have a whole boxing career and shit. I know. He was like, I'm gonna go win that, then I'm gonna go do Misfits and be like a full... Here, let's see. Here's the ending of it. He's a nice guy. A lot of energy. Yeah, he crushed it on the live show. Speaking of that, what are you, what's your thoughts on Tana's performance? Because I thought she was crushing it up there. I, I thought she was doing fine. Like, I said this, but... When the show ended and I heard that people were unhappy, I, it came as a surprise to me. I didn't really uh, know that that was going on. Yeah, look at this stance. You getting this stance? You get a shot of that stance. Beautiful. So meanwhile, wait, is this the fight over already? I think it's the height thing. Can we boost you up a little bit? Can we just have you say- Oh, it's over already. Here, let's just- Yeah. I think we could show a bit of it. Here, we're gonna need- We're gonna I mean, need you just- Just pop yeah, up on this. Yeah, it's fine. It's fair use. Can we get you to just pop up on this? Oh shit, sorry, yeah. Jeff, oh, I got a booster. I got a barber question for you. Sure. Why why do you prefer your clippers over like a baby list or like a, a wall? I have baby lists. You use baby lists? Yeah. All the companies send me their stuff. So I, I, I try them all, but these are the ones I started with, so that's what I'm used to. This exact clipper right here, my mom bought me for my fifteenth birthday. Oh wow. Oh that's I sweet. still have it. I still use it to this day. Held up strong. And I use cords, which is like so outdated. Right. <laughs> And people are like, why are you using cords? Like, you don't know what you're doing. You're not a real barber. But these are so much quieter for production. Oh, and all you fucks out there, all you normies that are barbers, you don't know shit about production. So <laughs> you're saying that. the wired ones are better? Yeah, look at this. I have. I agree totally. Yeah. I have this one here that I could use. Oh, it's loud. And then what a shit production this is now. That one you sounds know? nice. The first one. You want to listen to this show? No. No. Then you get this. So, Ooh. Jeff, I've heard you speaking um, lovingly about your mom a lot. Is is your dad uh, and the? Uh, I, yeah, I don't know anything yeah. about your dad. Yeah. My dad's in my. He's, uh, he used to beat the shit out of me when I was a kid. Okay, that's pretty rough. No, I'm kidding. I, I gotta stop saying that. Cause oh yeah, you shouldn't joke about that. He uh. <laughs> he was uh, he was very involved in my life. He, like I said earlier, like I wanted to be the coach of my kids' teams or whatever. He coached all our teams. Was very involved in all of our lives. He worked nights. He was a bus driver in New York City. So, yeah, he busted his ass. He worked hard for us. Is he? Is he? What? What? Is he alive? Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking about him. Yeah, I was like, sense. he's fine. He's still here. Yeah. Okay. He's we love. He's retired him. now. All right, so he, so you did not beat you. Your dad's watching like, okay, I beat you and I'm dead. Uh, yeah, no, he did not beat me and he's alive. Oh, he loved that about no, him. No, actually he beat me a couple times, but it was not like anything worse than what normal. Like spanking family. kind of shit? No, one time I was, I was, I'm the baby of the family, so I did whatever I wanted. I would not listen to my parents' orders. So it was like midnight and I was maybe 14. And my parents were like, you got to get home. And I was not even answering. I was like, I'll do what I want. So my dad, 
he pulls up to me in front of all my friends and he has a dog leash on him but he's like whipping it like a belt oh fuck and he's like you don't want you want to listen to your mother and he came out and he threw me on the ground and started <coughs> whipping me with a dog leash oh no like it was a belt but it didn't hurt because it was just a dog leash and all my it friends was the humiliation like, yeah it was a humiliation which is he got me like that's way worse i'll take a beating like you could beat the shit out of me break my arm humiliate me in front of my friends way worse so you're like so, real life bronx tale i guess oh yeah De Niro didn't want him hanging out with the uh, yeah 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 i guess that's my dad he's the Niro in a bronx tale <laughs> and he was a bus driver Wow, that's a that oh it's that's a good story knowing that it, he wasn't actually hurting you. No, he was just embarrassing every, you. All my friends were like, "This is child abuse." Okay, they thought he was beating your ass. <laughs> yeah. His plan backfired, <laughs> but you know, we talked. about Did the it. police ever visit or some shit from that? Huh? Did he get in, get any questions about <laughs> no, that? They probably will now. Yeah, they're Go coming over back. There, lock them up. <laughs> the What's case. The statute of limitation on beating your kid with a dog. <laughs> Good question. Uh, someone fact check that. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, he's got something in Discord. Oh, I had this saw this photo and I wanted to know if it was real. Um, this is a video of Trump that I just saw on Twitter. Why does it say love posted it? Oh, because I sent it in WhatsApp. So, is this like, is, is this a recent and real photo? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no Whoa. because he's wearing the presidential uh, windbreaker there. I don't think he can wear that. that is it real? Is the photo real? No, no, no. <laughs> that's a pre presidential fucking bulge right there, brother. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. If that's real, that's for sure like a diaper, right? Oh, that's I like see. elephantitis, dude. So, that's a full diaper. That man's ready for a diaper change. <laughs> <sighs> Are you looking if this is real? Um, yeah, I'm, I'll see if I can find that photo. Dan has been fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Is it okay? <laughs> yeah, it's good. So in the meantime... Oh, why don't we do this? Why don't we light, burn, go burn the Stanley cup while we're doing this? Uh, we could do that. We could yeah, do that. You know about the Stanley cups, Jeff? No. There's the, the cups that keep everything cold forever. Oh. There was like yeah. a viral video of someone's car that burned and she yeah. came back the next day and there's still ice in it. So we're going to, we're going to light one on fire and see... If the if it really does, or if that was just a marketing scheme, it's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Can we have Cody light it? Oh, this is the real one. I, I think yeah. so, right? It's I, from this. That's so lame. Why do people do that? There's a know your meme that I sent. If you want to read about it, it's not great. A very flattering photo, but it's, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely not a full diaper. On that. That's so cute. <laughs> Big massive God, dump. The makeup situation is so wild. Always. Yeah. What a bus kill that was. I like the first picture way more. Yeah. I mean, that'd be nuts. That'd be sick. This dude. would be like presidential run ending. Or the opposite, I'd say. I'd it's vote got for a diapy. <laughs> no, big ball sack. I big thought. massive dump. Ain't no ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Come on now, bro. Got big cylinders. <laughs> All right, so are we setting up Sports the, the uh, Stanleys? Yeah. All right, so outside, we have a video feed, we have a barbecue, we have a bunch of self-lighting coals that we are going to ignite. Get it nice and toasty. Let's let's measure the grill temp. We can do that, right? If uh, what exactly does it measure? Doesn't work on the grill. It doesn't work in the washing machine. It doesn't work in the flask. Well, it's a it's a thermometer. That's the whole point of the damn thing. All right, thank you. Yep. A lead situation though. Oh, you want to talk about your video? 
Uh, what, the Mexican drug trafficking? Yeah. Um, Ducky, what's happening? Did you watch it? I watched a bit of it. I didn't watch the whole thing. The second half is crazy when I go back with Cody. Because the first time I went down with Mike, and I had the idea, but I was just going to, like, first person vlog it and just see what really went down. And then... But I'm I don't want to... If I watch it, they'll probably... Yeah. Look at Cody. <laughs> he looks more dangerous yeah, than the Cody. They can lock us up <laughs> yeah. and then try to extort us for money saying that we're buying drugs. And he's yelling at them, nah, this shit's no good. So where are you guys in Tijuana? Yeah. Oh yeah, Tijuana's a crazy ass city. This is all spyglasses. Twenty dollars tax? Yeah. So you just oh, on the he's corner. Blurred right this guy's face the second time, but he's he's <laughs> not that serious. He's not so, that high up. Are you afraid that people can use this as like a basically a guide on how to buy drugs in Tijuana? I mean, that's or there's a, if people want to find that out, there's already videos that show exactly that. I needed some sort of shock value to get people to watch and then the message was test your drugs you have access to these fentanyl strips and they're free mm. and i introduced them to the guy in the website and the nonprofit that they could get their strips for free should get you some so you could uh, test your drugs carne asada, uh, Dude, carne asada no no Bro, onion I fuck the um onions on my, you don't want onions on fuck the drugs tell me where to get this those tacos are fire look at this shit yo i don't need fentanyl I need me some asada tacos. <laughs> mm hmm But it was fun. I, I had a good time. And it wasn't... It didn't feel dangerous. It's just the scoring of it. You know, like, it, we scored it to be suspenseful. I, yeah, I can hear you, Dan, yes. I wanted people's palms to be sweating when they were watching it. So they, you were able to buy fentanyl and shit? Everything. We got China white heroin. We got cocaine. We Jeez. got... That's crazy. Everything. We got bought everything. That's crazy. It's so easy to go down to Tijuana. You get steroids. You get Ozempic. They have. Ozempic. Can we use really? the word Tablets. allegedly? Yeah, allegedly. Yeah. That's that's they, interesting. They have everything. That's a hell of a drug to traffic. Ozempic. Yeah. Uh, I know a guy. <laughs> you do? You know a, a dealer who sells Ozempic? That's awesome. I'll talk to you about it after. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did he? I didn't see nothing. I don't know nothing about nobody. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Do you guys want to do the bait? It's not a controlled substance. It's not, you know, oh, right? Epic? Uh, yeah, that's true. It might not be... I mean, yeah. So that's not a felony? Probably not. Right. So you're good, Cody. Oh, shit. I didn't say that. You don't give a fuck. Oh, good. All right, so let's cut to the um, AB the uh, barbecue. Can you hear us, AB? Yes, I can. Here's a uh, good AB. He's outside. How's the grill going? Is it, is it raging? No, but it's it's ready to rage. You want me to start it? Let's check. Let's check the temp in there. Uh, okay. I just want to know what temperature the grill is. What's well, on? It's not on. You want me to light it first? And so, what's the strategy here, uh, AB? Are we going to stand them up on the grill? Or are we going to lay them down? Uh, whatever you, whatever you think. We can lay them down. I think. We're lay it was standing up in the original video. I'll point out. That is true. So let's just stand it. Can you close the top? It's probably too tall. Eh? Uh. uh Putting the lid over it? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably too tall. I think that's good enough though. If it's standing yeah. under a flame uh -huh. and you can keep licking it with the with the gas, the starter fluid. <laughs> Hell yeah. Checking the temperature. So here we go, A B. Good. Have fun out there, A B. Thank you. Let's get your, the fire marshal involved. Your car is the closest, so if I accidentally <laughs> the fire gets too big. It's all good. You don't All right. What do you think about that? I mean that's a fire. Now that's a fire. <laughs> that's a fire. That's a fire, yes. Sure is. Is lead a good insulator? Maybe that's the special recipe. Mmm. So, you want me to take this temperature? How am I supposed to do this? <laughs> just put just put it over it as close as you can without hurting yourself. You'll, okay, I'll you'll have to close the grill and then there's a thermometer on the top. Oh, that's a good idea. Did well, you hear gonna, that? Yeah. But it's going to take a you second might. to get up to temp. Okay. You might kill the fire too, right? 
Uh, it has it has uh, oxygen coming in these little holes up here. Little holes? You could put it in the hole. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sorry, ducky. Okay, I'm opening the app for the thermometer. I'm sorry, duck duck. Okay. Why don't we throw them on, maybe, and we can take the temperature as they're cooking. Um, no, those, those are full up with ice, right? Yes. Okay. Google says uh, a normal grill is 500 Fahrenheit. 500? Yeah. That's 500. a hell of a lot fire hotter. The washing machine was like 150. Yes, sir. You know what? This fire is not holding as good as I had hoped. I'm put some more fluid. Why is he wearing like a fucking hazmat mask? Like Walter oh, White. oh, there we go. That's fair. It doesn't need more lighter fluid. It does, more fire. Dan, it does. You're not supposed to put lighter right. fluid on an active... Yeah, 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 you are. I'm from... I know this. I learned this in Dearborn. No, we're okay. doing that. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do it. Ducky, I'm sorry, sweetie. Yeah, I think it has to be laid down. Or ducky. If we want to close it. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have to close it. Just put it over the fire. I don't think it will close. All right. Light it up. And then we got the hydro flask. My, my fear is that it's not getting enough surface area. Well, you know what I mean? So more, more fluid, you think? Like, you can lay down the hydro flask. Can you lay down the Stanley? The plastic's gonna melt, probably. It'll melt, but it should be insulated. Yeah, let's lay them down. Let's barbecue those motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, he's okay there. Stop with the fluid! You don't need any more fluid! It's, I'm a professional, fluid, I got it, Dan. Don't worry about it. No. So here you have scientific experiment. I'll say the hydro flask is getting more direct heat. If you want to maybe, you, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta, Hold like up. a steak, you gotta move them around a little bit. Spread the flame out evenly. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not seeing the yeah, tongs down here, Daniel. The tongs are right? It's hard enough to cut. Am I moving too much? <laughs> I'll What's that, Dan? Out. More fluid, you said? Uh, it's fixable. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll, st I'll stay still. I'll stay just, still. you know... I got you. you I got you. You. Ha you have extra, like, you know, jerks, too, in there, you know? And I got you. I'm, Dan, you said more fluid? And, and all the other stuff hosted in the show. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I'm gonna be it's still. It's my work that's on the line here. Sure, it's your reputation. Mm -hmm. There's a little spritz of uh, lighter fluid. Now, how's the flame distribution looking, AB? Pretty good? Yeah, pretty good. And the top doesn't seem to be melting or anything like that, actually. Uh... Neither really showing any signs of melting. Yeah, no, so far so good. <laughs> what, you maybe throw the top on there, eh? Yeah, let's just put... Let's barbecue those motherfuckers. A little bit more fluid just for Dan right there. No, he's right. He's right. He's right. And then... Leave the holes open. It'll yep. get hotter with the holes open. Holes are open? No, no talking for 10 seconds. Oh, there are the tongs. Okay. That's no problem. All right, you're good. Nice. Line the fuck up. Sheesh. Looking clean, my boy. So take the temp now, AB. Okay. But drop the thermometer in, all, in the hole. <laughs> That's, That's what she said. Sorry. Sorry about that. I'm locked in. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay, it's going up 67, 75, 85, 95, 100 degrees. Oh, man. 106. Right, 110. All right. We'll just, just wait like a minute. Otherwise, you're just going to be counting. This All is right. the counting podcast. Razor blade is now on your face. So. 130. Remember that time you uh, made me call in live? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't so funny, was it? Damn, look at us now. Who's in the hot seat now? I'm scared, fucking. Easy, odd. easy. <laughs> easy there. All right, go ahead, AB. Give us an update. It's uh, 200 degrees. That's heat. That's heat, baby. That's real heat. Nice. Ooh, Come hard. with that heat. So this, this is a smart thermometer, so I hope it lasts. This is a legit test. I mean, how long should we let it cook in there? 10 minutes, we said? Before our first test. Yeah. Well, I'm wondering, because you laid it down, I, I actually have a suspicion that that's going to work to our disadvantage here. 
think it's, it's going to start leaking. We're seeing a lot of smoke coming yeah, out now. A lot of smoke lot coming out. A lot faster. Especially with the top on. Because in the original thing, it was standing up. And so... any. Yeah, but it was... No, but, like, the whole top part was exposed to flame. The bottom part's not that big. You know what I mean? I guess we'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Well, you want to you want to take a look now? Yeah. Take a look. See if it's leaking. Let's That's check on it, AB. We're opening the lid. We're going to check. You got that lid. That white smoke. On the... On Whoa, the those babies are looking good. Let's get Ooh, some oil and some salt good. on those. Perfect char. <laughs> You're getting nice grill marks on that uh, Stanley, AB. Yeah, I'm seeing it looks like it's leaking or or then just maybe from the top. Yeah, the, uh, okay. the hydro flask definitely, the bottom of it, you can see it's burning. But that's just because of the material around it, I'm guessing. Doesn't white smoke mean um, water on fire? No. Yeah, if it looks like... Ooh, oh, ooh, man. Those char look lines. Oh, yeah, wow. give them a flip. Look at those char look lines. Look wow. Look Gorgeous. Do we hear the ice? That's a 10. Yeah, I hear the ice. You hear the wow. ice? I hear the ice. Okay. So which one is melting? The Stanley? They're, I mean, they're both getting pretty burnt. This one's definitely, Not the hydro burnt. flask is uh, definitely more. Oh, look at the grill marks on that. That's the puppy. Woo, she eat your heart out, Bobby Filet. You know what I think it needs is uh, <laughs> more fluid. Yeah, get in there. No, it's yeah, AB. Oh, shit, you just, hey, what happened? Stop doing that. <laughs> no, don't stop. Yes, stop. It that is very work. dangerous to do. What? Uh, just not, a squirt of me, lighter fluid. Dangerous in what world, Dan? Not my world. In in our world. I'm trying to get some workers comp here, Dan. Do you mind? I've seen so many videos of the flame coming back up well, to the bottle well, and igniting eight, Yeah, it. you do a sp spritz. You don't do it for a long time. A fool does it for a long time. Okay. You know that, right, AB? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You AB just got to stand further away, bro. He's... Yeah. <laughs> AB knows what he's doing. It's a spritz. Hmm. You know? Fire's looking a little weak. So what, are the coals not I think lit? the water is leaking and dripping onto the coal. If that's the issue, we got to investigate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kill your, dude. Is your bottom vent open, AB? It is. It, it, yeah, it's a good yeah, question. So you want to crap? Well, let's take a look. Get them off the grill and let's see if there's a leak. I think maybe we need more oxygen. I think we need more fluid. King. I don't need more fluid, please <laughs> stop. The handle, oh, oh, look at the handle. You guys see that? Yeah, it's melting. It's like gum. Uh -oh. oh, wow. Uh-oh. Okay. So the handle is melting. Oh, I just saw water squirt out of the top, so the top- Of the Stanley? Yeah. Yeah, the top <laughs> is not doing so good. Stanley. But that hydro flask looks to me to be still, uh, Solid, eh? Uh, the top is solid still, yeah. And and you hear ice jiggling both of them? I do in the hydro flask. Yep, and I do. Holy in the smoke! Hold up, dude. Um, Shad is suggesting that it might explode because it's building up pressure. That's true. That's it's a very true. that is true. Yeah, it's very fun, cool. <laughs> That's absolutely uh, true, Chad. Thank you for saying that. We want to make sure we don't miss that. It's very cool. Uh, the you know what? <laughs> the hydro flask uh, potentially. The other one, the hydro has, flask. The seal has already feeling. been broken on the Stanley, so that will not. You know what? Likely explode. Let's absolutely not heat the hydro flask more because that thing will explode. All right, let's that take the hydro still... flask off. I mean, if it's safe around whatever temperature it's at, but it's cold, by the way. It's not going to explode if it's cold inside. Wait, that doesn't make sense. That is true. It would explode because of the steam creating pressure, but if it's cold, it's not at risk of exploding. Right? I'm, no, I'm, you're right. I'm just Jesse Pinkman out here. You're Walt, so you tell me. <laughs> so are the coals still going hot? I mean... I'm not seeing flames, but... Well, is the... Do you see embers? Not really. Okay. Let's get some fluid on there. Yeah, it seems like it must have got wet. So let's keep... I'm being very... Well, it, AB, if it's not lighting... There's no fire. Oh, it's gonna light. There you go. Beautiful. 
All right, let's get the hydro flask and let's just let them cook. Slow burn. No, I said that one's fine. It's cold. If there's ice inside, it's not going to explode. It's alright. I have uh, protective gear for my for my eyes, so if it explodes, we'll be okay. Okay. Just keep an eye on the coals. Make sure they're they're sizzling. Yep. All right. We'll we'll cut back to AB. Okay. I'm happy you had some sort of other segment going on because it's hard to really focus on the haircut. And Absolutely. Of course. You gonna do me a favor? Um. I guess I'm pretty impressed to shit. I mean, those things were cooking. You know? We need to go throw it in lava or some shit. This is the next test. Throw it in a volcano. Sure. Let's do that. You down? We'll send AB <laughs> to an active volcano. Are there any active volcanoes? I'll take care of that. Right I'll take care of that for you. Well. You can visit some, like in Hawaii, that have like active lava flow. Oh, Hawaii? There's active volcanoes there in Hawaii? I guess, yeah, if you want to send me there, I'd be happy to do the test It'd for just you. be an overnight thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. My flight might get delayed, so, you know, if I miss a few days. Work. Not even a one-night stay. Yeah. Go straight it, to the volcano. It's all day. work, yeah, it's all Same work. Day round trip. Right, yeah. That's right. You yeah. arrive if at just, 7 a.m., you leave at 7 p.m. With know. the Boeing issues, the flights are so unpredictable, so if I oh, yeah. wind up being gone for a few weeks, I hope you'll understand. All right. Dan's going to throw the hydro flask in a volcano, everybody. I just booked the flight on your card. Okay. How are you going to get it out of there? Nice. <laughs> After you reach your arm down in that lava, well, we'll have to um, we'll have to put a flame retardant string on it, <laughs> a chain, sure. yeah, titanium. That's probably as a Un unobtainium. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of super high burning. Have you ever seen the movie The Core with Hilary Swank? Good movie. It's not. <laughs> it's not a good movie. I like every movie. You set you set him up. You know who's in that though? The Tooch. Stanley himself, that's right. All right. Tucci. How are we looking back there, Jeff? How's how's my hair cooperating? It's coming out perfect. It looks really? great. Uh, it's a little tough. It's sort of like trying to cut like a, a wild animal. It's, yeah. It is thick. A lot of movement. And then the movement probably true is tough, eh? Yeah, mostly because you're talking. That I get it. You're hosting a show. And also, you don't really give a fuck about what the haircut looks not, like. Not really. I care, yeah. because this is my reputation on the line. I feel like if you fuck up, the difference won't even probably be visible to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you won't notice. No. But I'm sure people at home, you probably have a few barbers in your um, audience here. They're that judging. They're talking shit on me right now. Abs Look, yeah. I'm not in the shops. I'm not cutting hair every day. I get it. There's a lot of better barbers out there than me. Don't say that. But barbers that also host podcasts, Show me one of them that does a better job. There's none. You know? There's none out there. There's that guy Vic Blends who does those like all like sentimental videos where he cuts people's hair. We're gonna send he goes Cody. And, like cuts homeless people and they all go viral on TikTok. Oh, I know that guy. He's a phony baloney. Let's yeah, send Cody phony. to pay him a visit. Oh, cutting homeless people's <laughs> hair. Let me stick a camera in your face, homeless man. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for the there. thanks for the content, idiot. <laughs> yeah. Does he give him money? Look too? at how much of a piece of shit this guy looks like. Now wait till I come in and do my stuff and I'm gonna fix his life. He's you gonna get off the streets. Yeah. Give me a break. You just made him look not homeless. Now he can't panic. Which is anymore. fucked up because yeah. he is homeless. How can you ask people for money with a fresh haircut? And nobody's gonna give him money. And like if he goes in looking for a job, he probably, you know, he's got to The other things got to match up. You're ruining lives, Vic Blends. Where's he at? Right there. Talk to me. You're fucking those homeless people's lives up. <laughs> Scumbag. Do you want to talk about the Michaela Noguera? <laughs> what was that? What's, what's, oh, AB. Hey. There's no flame, AB. It's just not necessary anymore. If, if it, if it doesn't catch on fire when you squirt, there's no flame. But. I feel I can smell the barbecue. You smell that? Yeah, it smells nice. Yep. Yeah, it smells I smell great. lighter fluid Ooh. burning. Should have got some dogs to throw in there next to it. Nice. I just realized my car is kind of close to that fire. Mine didn't worry. So is mine. Yeah. 
about to test a uh, yeah. <laughs> a real car fire on yeah, these fucking Stanleys. Yeah. yeah, just fucking burn my car up. <laughs> Hi, Ducky. Room. You're so sweet. Fuck yeah. You're so sweet, Ducky. You're such a good boy. How do I say her last name? Michaela N I've N heard most people say Nagara. Like oh, Nagara. So there was a funny drama with uh, our uh, friend of the show, Michaela Nogara, the yeah. makeup bag girl. Yeah. yeah. Makeup bag! Some fake tan debauchery. Man. Not debauchery, not that. Some so, fake tan drama. Matthew Stevens is a TikToker and owner of Illusion Bronze, fake tan company. And he had something to say about Miss Michaela. You're so, it's so hard to cut your hair. <laughs> I felt like I was being still. Yeah, it's just. Did you, you know. fuck up again? No, because so what I do is I have like a a base. So if you move your head, I stay with you. You know. Yeah. But even with this trick, it's not enough. It's still tough. But would you like? I can operate. Well, the, well you're, uh, cut, you're cutting on a curve. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cutting on a curve. Yeah. Would, would you like me to operate the the links and stuff so you can sit still? Even? Sure, that'd be great. Yeah, show me the show me. That's we're almost done. Oh, for okay. real? I think it would really help right now is like a sedative. If we could like put in the sleep. <laughs> you be the ones with that. Frank, you want to? No, I dumped all those into Tana's pocket. Right. No, I'm kidding. I dumped them. We, I might have exaggerated some of the video. You know, like the heroin and stuff, we left all, we buried it. Oh, that's we good. We didn't bring any of that stuff back. Bury it. Yeah, because the one time I flushed pills down the toilet. Yeah. And everybody got mad at me. It was like me. Why? Because I, I had surgery and I had a bunch of pain meds. And I wanted to get rid of them. So I showed flushing them down the toilet. And people were like, that's going to go into our oh, that drinking is water and stuff. Silly. I, a lot of people said it. They're, you're like trying to like, you're like, I am not going to be doing drugs. No, do the drugs. Get that out of our water. Yeah, they said you're supposed to dis dispose of them properly so <laughs> is that hole. true yeah i feel like the parts per million on that is could be so well, a, far from i mean it's a matter of it's not one person doing it isn't a problem it's millions of people doing it all over yeah. the country all the time it builds up and it's and enough. i brought a lot of drugs home from mexico <laughs> <laughs> right yeah <laughs> I think that would have an effect so what's the what's the data on that if you can I'm curious what's like if there's about official, flushing uh yeah if there's like some drugs. Kind of official fda a statement you know uh let's see don't flush medicine down the drain uh doing so spring blah, 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 blah. these pharmaceuticals can pollute our water and unintentionally expose us to chemicals in these medication studies have found that these medicines flush down the drain can contaminate our lakes and streams which can hurt fish and other aquatic wildlife and end up in our drinking water Make some medications such happy. as hormones and antidepressants include endocrine disrupting compounds that interfere with Reproduction and normal growth of many aquatic species, such as frogs and fish. Um, so what yeah. website is that from? Uh, this is from the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. Return the friggin' frogs gay! What's the URL? PCA.state.mn.us <laughs> It's got a gov, it's, it's got a, a real, real it's a real, <laughs> what do you want to send a real catchy eight? one. No, I want to make sure Dan's not reading like... Okay, um, how about the Los Angeles County Medicine Sanitation Department? Mommy Group Crystals Rule. It's not. How about the LA County Sanitation Group or That's, District? Yeah. Dot People gov? Do our trash here. Dot LA? Uh, it's dot org. Oh, we got a dot org. Well, anyone can get a you dot org. You want a dot gov website specifically. Okay, stay still. Okay, let me work Five on seconds. that. Five seconds. How about the FDA? FDA.gov. I don't trust them. No? No good? <laughs> oh, are you good? That's the ultimate, Dan. What's the <laughs> FDA say? You found it there? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Let's see. Flushing medicines because some medicines, so the FDA says because some medicines could be especially harmful to others, they have specific directions to immediately flush them down the sink or toilet when they are no longer needed and the take up option is not readily available. How will you know? Check the label. Oh, wait. They're specifically talking about some drugs are okay to flush, but oh. I guess it says. Here we go. Flushing drugs in the water supply. Some people wonder if it's okay to flush certain medicines when the take-back option is not easily available. Uh, there are concerns about small levels of drugs that may be found in the surface water, such as rivers and lakes, and in drinking water supplies. Mm. 
that's all it says? The FDA and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency take concern of flushing certain medicines in the environment seriously. Still, uh, oh, oh, what a twist. This, they say, still, there have been no signs of environmental effects caused by flushing recommended drugs. Oh, a recommended twist. drugs. Hold on. Wait, what? Okay, so this gets confusing. They're saying certain drugs you can flush and certain ones you can't. So they're saying the ones that are recommended to flush, it's it's all good. So check your labels, people, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Would you trust FDA? These are flushing flushable drugs opioids. association? Yeah, these are the flushable type. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is looking great. Oh, I'm excited. All right, show me, show me this drama, Dan. Show you the drama. Okay. Um, well, you 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 still are leading. It's just uh, well, I, I said Matthew manip- Stevens, a TikToker and owner of Illusion Bronze Fake Tan Company. Mm-hmm. If you open his TikTok, let's see here. His company has 125 different shades, and they send you your best color match based on your skin tone, hair color, and eye color. The other day, Matthew posted a TikTok exposing Michaela. Go ahead, let's watch it's that. This first one with 13.5 million. Michaela's lies have cost me ten. What? That's 2A, right, Dan? I'll double check. I just clicked it from his page. Yeah, this is it. $1,000. Yes, I am $10,000 in debt because of her lies. In October, I made a video asking Michaela if there was any way she would review my small business. My business, Illusion Bronze, went viral last year. And in the video to Michaela, I just explained, hey, there's this multi-million dollar company who's sort of knocking off my idea and I could really use your help. If you don't know, Illusion Bronze is the only custom self-tanner mixed for each individual Somebody client based off I guess your this guy eye was a guest color, on hair color, and skin Trish's tone. Podcast recently. Can you pause it for a sec? Yeah. I want to make sure AB's not going to get more, oh. uh, get um, shrapneled by the hydro flask. <laughs> Looking good, AB. Those things are ch- those things are ready to go. <laughs> those those may be done. So are we still getting the ice jiggle out there, AB? Wow. And can it's you still p- jiggling? And then put. Oh, oh, oh my God! Is it less or the same as it started? Sounds the same, bruh. And can you take a temperature of the exterior of the bottles and yeah. temperature of the grill? Yeah. AB is inserting the. I'm not, I don't know how to get this off. Though. <laughs> Just touch it on the outside of the bottle, you know, or the bottom. Then I want you inside of me. Yeah, AB is... You probably want to touch the needle on... That's definitely not going to be the hot part, you know. Inside. I mean... You just put it on the grill. <laughs> see what's the temp. <laughs> grill that thing, too, man. What's the fire's temp? There you go. That's it. <laughs> Give it a squirt, for sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah, God. one more time. Hey, no, and not, just so that, just so people know, it's real experiment. Yeah, it's real. It's a real flame. What's it reading out there? Warning. This uh, needle is on fire. Warning over temperature. What? Wow. It's a bus kill. That sounds hot. Wait, what the hell? How high does that measure to? That's not even a crazy flame. Not hot enough for us. That's all I know. Oh, it says it's the last reading is uh, 280 degrees. Mm. Okay, so that's a good. That's, that's up good. there. That's hot. So I think we can say myth not busted. Confirmed. Isn't that what they did? I on believe that they the would Stanley, be like, yeah, the confirmed. Stanley Cup did in fact survive the fire, and was still the next day full of ice. Although I'll say this, the hydro flask performed just as valiantly. So I arguably better because it didn't leak, as far as you could tell. True, true. Look at those, man. Wow. Yummy. Yeah, let's drink some water. Snack time. Yeah, have a sip. <laughs> Lunch time. Let's Cheers, drink my some dude. grilled water. So you're out there on the ground, uh, AB. What's your impression here of our experiment today? Uh, I'm really impressed uh, how both of them held up, to be honest. Uh, the top of the Stanley didn't do so well, but that's plastic, so Turn, no, that was kind of a given. The, uh, if you can... Put the Stanley upside down on the ground. Let's see it. Sorry, Jeff. 
Let's see, uh, what's the, what's the leakage like? I know, sorry. I don't think you need those plastic gloves, by the way, AB. I don't think that's... I would use those. I don't think that's helping. Wait, what? Why are you telling him not to use the gloves? The plastic gloves, not the oven you know mitt. I mean? <laughs> like, that's like a sanitary thing. Don't, I don't think we're worried about, like, cross-contamination. <laughs> cross-contaminating the hydro flask with the Stanley. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so the Stanley is fully leaking. And is that coming from the straw hole or somewhere else? Somewhere else. This is from where it was where it was burned. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this thing has sprung a leak. Let's test the hydro flask. That thing is Yo. sealed, baby. Sealed, signed, and delivered. Bro. I know what I'm taking to a war zone. <laughs> Well, you know, the, the Stanley does have the straw hole, which, you know, it's a different design, but, uh, we applaud our, our these flaps. AB, people are saying that the plastic gloves, if you touch something, they could melt and then melt onto your skin. It's yeah. probably... I'm the professional. Thank you. I got it. Thank okay. You. All right. All right. Hey, what are they? I'm not trying to criticize. No, I'm not, just saying not, that the not chat you, is concerned you. about your you little. Not you. Not you. I'm telling chat. I got you. Okay. All right. Give my squirt of uh, fluid, AB. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Ah. Attaboy. You guys are driving me nuts. All right. I guess we can call it off. We'll call it a. We'll call it a. A success, eh? I guess so. So do we get a karma? Yeah, what what exactly is our reward for proving? Is there anything about a reward? Should no. I use this? It's about the truth. You can keep the cup. It's investigative. No, 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 don't use that, AB. <laughs> AB, don't use it. Wait, why? Because we had all we had them inspected recently and they're all like signed off for. I'd I'd rather save them for a time that we actually need them. Mm, okay. I mean, call, it's AB. your it's it's your it's your fire extinguisher, my guy. All right, That's let's wrap powder. it up down there, Avery. Thank you. We'll, we'll preserve the extinguisher. Wow. Dan's name. There it is, everybody. The Hydro Flask and the Stanley Cup both prevailed, although I'll say the Hydro Flask performed more admirably yeah. as no, it did not spring a leak. Up. For sure. And we're back in the barbershop. Hello, everybody. Looking good. So I'll say this. I have not. I think I'm still growing my hair out because I got a haircut. Yeah, you the didn't take any off the top. Right? Yeah. No, I'm gonna style it up. I got okay. growing my Let's go. Hair back, people. We just launched. Let's go. So you're gonna be looking fucking phenomenal after this. I'm feeling it. Imagine if even got a love <laughs> Imagine if even got a love So, Ninja got a high tapered fade because he had a lot of bald skin. Like, if you pull up Ninjas, Dan? That's a good question. Maybe Jeff needs to weigh in on this. Yeah. Do you want to line this up? Do you want to go for like oh, a God. box out? Yeah, let's go for yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you don't give a fuck about anything. It's, I know it's crazy, dude, but I mean, let's box it out. Let's, let's line me up nice. Out. Yeah. Let's line it me up grows nice. Back in three days, looks like shit. You got to get another haircut. <laughs> this is the barber, the oldest trick in the book. This is how you force people to come back every Oh, day true, true. I don't know, though. You have such a good natural hairline. I'm kind of leaning towards we leave it that way. <laughs> It'd definitely be a goof. It won't look good. It will look silly. But we can't mess with the hairline. It's okay. The hairline is invincible. It'll be bad. All right. Whatever you want, though. You're, I'm, I'm following your lead I'll this time. I'll touch it. Yeah. Neither of them can see right now. Did you find Ninja's tape? I did. It's up on the screen once you're uh, done getting lined up here. Oh, I see. I see. Jeff is um, on my hairline. Yeah, that's a low fade, but not a taper fade. A taper is just where you tape up just the lower, just like. Just, so he does part. not, in fact, have a low taper fade from a what you're taper saying. Taper and a fade. Is different. A fade is like military style. Like that, you can get a high fade that looks like you're straight out of the army. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, 
What are you saying? Are you saying you can't have a taper and a fade at simultaneously? Is this whole thing a lie? It depends. In different states, different cities, they have different slang. Different terminology? Okay. Okay. So, well, what would you call Ninja's cut right there? A low fade. It's just a low fade. Just low fade, fade no taper. Yeah, low fade, he, no taper. So, I didn't go around his ears and skin this out. Mm -hmm. You know, I just went with the taper. This is Whoa. what I know as a taper, though. I didn't know this meme. I didn't know. I kind of want it to look like that. You want to change it? Because it's so gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> it was... made me a little late for that. <laughs> No, it's not, right? It's a whole nother haircut. We could do it. I don't care. <laughs> I, thought you just, I thought you just I mean, it, it sounds all. like he cares. Oh, yeah, we don't have to do it all. I'll do this. I'll do this. <laughs> want this? That's kind of what I wanted. Okay. <laughs> because it's just more extreme. Okay. <laughs> I didn't... I, I was following the meme, you know? No, I, I guess I get it. I guess I get it. But we, Jeff, I, I we just, don't have to do it, you know what I mean? It's fine. We're doing it. It's kind of on us. We should have shown Jeff the meme before we did it. I suppose. Did we know? That probably would have made more sense. Oh, we didn't show that <laughs> yeah. here. Look, it's already getting done. Yeah, okay. All right, we're on our way. I want it real it's all high. good. It's because it looks so funny, I always thought. Yeah. yeah. So it's that's still it. low. I, I can't do real high. Okay. I'm going to change the style, but when we discussed this in the beginning, I showed you the Poly D photo. That's a low taper. Okay. Well, I did say I do not want to look like Poly D. I was emphatic about that. Right. I'm just pushing it on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're leaving here like Polly D today. <clears throat> Hold it. All right, so let's get into this this drama. Okay, speak to me. Shall I start this video over? Sure. Let's start it from. The, let's go from the top here. No, Dan can do it. Refresh. Michaela's lies have cost me $10,000. Yes, I am $10,000 in debt because of her lies. In October, I made a video asking Michaela if there was any way she would review my small business. Welcome my back, business baby. Illusion Bronze went Thank viral you. last year, and in the video to Michaela, I just explained, hey, there's this multi-million dollar company who's sort of knocking off my idea, and I could really use your help. If you don't know, Illusion Bronze is the only custom self-tanner mixed for each individual client based off your eye color, hair color, and skin tone. I launched in January. This multi-million dollar brand had a line of four shades Can coming out a little bit in towards April. The TV. Is that okay? After seeing I had gone viral with my concept, this brand put a quiz on their website asking people for their eye color, hair color, and skin tone, and they would suggest one of four colors. So it basically cheapened and simplified my idea, obviously, because I have 125 customizable colors. I tried to convince myself that it was a coincidence, but there were a few girls who went viral from her viewing my product Colors that were of genuine, pan? authentic reviews. And this multi-million dollar brand turn it went up after them, paying them to do reviews of their brand and mention the things that were unique about my product, but instead say it about theirs. So imagine my surprise when four days after I asked Michaela if she would review my small business, she reviews the specific line from the multi-million dollar company who was knocking me off. Now keep in mind, when I asked her to review my product mm. line and then she reviewed the competitor four days later, their line had been out for six months at this time. So I didn't believe it not to be a coincidence. Much. It's not that six I was blaming her. I didn't think it was her fault. But I thought, wow, this company has already gone after the small influencers who blew up my brand and paid them. They must have seen my video to Michaela and now paid her too. This video I posted wondering if it was a coincidence garnered 4 million views. Kayla DM'd me the next morning and said it was an absolute coincidence. It would never be my intention to hurt a small business. She said, I think I actually have your tanner. Regardless, when I get home, I will make my purchase and try your tanner ASAP. We DM back and forth for a while. She does say, I wish you would have come to me first. I was like, uh, how? So then she gave me her phone number, asked to speak on the phone. We talked for like 20 minutes. She was like, That's my nice. parents are small business owners. They've experienced similar things. I was like, wow, this poor girl, like she's young. She's doing the best she can. Once she's home, she shows me that she has the product as well as shits all over my competitor, but I'm not going to blast that. And for a second, I really thought like, wow, maybe this misunderstanding is turning into a friendship. Well, in October, she told me she was posting it ASAP. And then two months passed by. I really just had grieved the idea and moved forward. I was like, damn, it's unfortunate that she really is the person that people say Hold she on. is. I don't think He's that mad she that he didn't get a free social post by a massive makeup creator. That's what he's upset about. 
Okay. Yeah, I guess that's the way you it could characterize that. It doesn't seem like that. something to expose over at all. Like, you know... Uh, Alright, let me, let me follow. Shall I keep going on this video? Yeah, yeah, let's finish it. She one. understands that just because I don't have 15 million followers, I do have almost 72,000. And people tag her in my videos and ask me about her every single day now for the past three months. So one day when someone was in my live asking me where Michaela's review was, I said, guys, just let it go. And then people started going to her page and commenting, where's the Illusion Bronze review? Michaela texted me almost immediately. I don't know if you mentioned me or something somewhere, but I'm getting so many comments about trying the tanner and I'm actually using it this weekend. She says, I'll be posting a video about it tomorrow, December 7th. Now, in the past, Michaela made a video about how she doesn't review indie brands anymore because they can't keep up with the orders. There's been a few instances where the indie no, I brand... Guess, sorry. Her voice is something else, man. <laughs> like, it's wild. <laughs> is this gonna make me look like Babby? Sounds like a Family Guy fucking character. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah. That's a real accent? It sounds like a Staten Island it's, accent or something. It's supposed to be Boston, let's be. <laughs> fake? I know somebody went to school with her, yeah. She faked oh, that accent. Yeah, she you, have, you have Intel, Kim? I, somebody I talked to went to school with her and said it's fake. Yeah. She sounds normal. Yeah. That's like, like an interesting Bobby. like angle to go. I'm just going to have this crazy accent. Okay. Bobby. Are we getting uh, more to what you were thinking? Let me see. I can't believe you. You tell me a low taper fade, you show me a video of a guy so, singing about it. You don't actually, I didn't know Ninja right, had fair enough. the hair. So, could have just showed me the haircut. What I like about Ninjas is that it's like down to the skin. Like it's so extreme. Okay, yeah. Like fucked up. All right, know. all right, I'll fuck it See, up. now we went from good, but like in a good way. Yeah, like yeah. No, it's, it's cool. Like I, okay, I don't want it to look bad, but I want, <laughs> I want it to look extreme. You know okay, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, this yeah. is good. Jeff showed at first a good haircut and now he's going to fuck it up. So we know what he's capable of. This one's still good. I just want to see dumb. I want to see bald dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe he actually got a low taper fade, and you guys didn't think to show me the picture of the haircut. Sure. You show me the guy I, singing. Well, I just didn't know. <laughs> I assumed everyone was on the same page. But I the... thought it, it was standardized. I didn't realize yeah. that there's regional uh, differences between tapers and fades and low taper fades, high yeah, taper fades. Yeah, I didn't know Yeah, I guess it was that. just a big misunderstanding, but look. Luckily, we were able to fix it because if it went the other way, you can't put the hair back on. True. But since we were able to go this way slowly, it's a good point. We're taking our time here, and it's, it's important. Okay. It's okay. important. Um, Things okay. All right, go ahead, and finish the video. Let's all right, see. all right, let's keep going. <laughs> Cannot handle the the capacity to fulfill. All of those orders. I was a long term fan and follower, so I remembered that video. And the last thing that I wanted to do was embarrass myself, my business, or her. And Shopify had kept offering me a $10,000 loan. So when she told me, I'm reviewing this oh, tomorrow, bro, I was like, let that. me take that loan. The money gets deposited bro, within like 20 on. So give the money back. <laughs> You already spent it? Let's Four hours, out. and I spent all $10,000 on product. It Bro, honestly that was felt dumb. like that day was Christmas. I was so excited. I kept refreshing my TikTok. Wait, and he did this after the... This was the second time that she said that she was going to post something. Yeah. The first time she said she was going to post something, and it never happened. Yeah. And then... Now she said she was going to post something again, and he immediately took out ten thousand dollar loan. I've on seen, the basis I've of seen that? what he says. I, I get those on my on my homepage too. Uh -huh. I'm just saying, if this it's person already clicked thing. on it's you not once, like, it's not that serious. It's like a generic thing that they just it shows up on everyone's. Yeah, but I'm just saying the rationale of taking out a yeah. loan based off the word of somebody that's already yeah. Flaked on you. There's not a contract. You're not paying her. Yeah, I would have maybe held off one more day. Feed, and when she finally posted, she did. Post. She clearly had a tan on, but it was hideous. Talking like what? beyond orange, and the hands were a mess. I genuinely. Wait, didn't this guy's a, this guy's being a punk, kind of. <laughs> Wait, what? 
<laughs> Bro, sorry, was, your product yeah, sucked. she was wearing my product and it looked horrible. <laughs> Dude, she, okay, the, one of the biggest makeup influencers in the world gave you a free ad, bro. He has like a conspiracy theory about her tan that he'll get to. Oh. And I think it's she even, even She purposely funnier. fucked it up. All right, all right. Even, how even my crazy. product line works, how she could turn out looking like that. Still, I tried to find the least offensive photo of this tan I could find. And hey, she looks her. fine. What do you mean? You look beautiful. Wait, hold on. Pause it. Here is my message. Below. Um, is the tan bad? I don't think it's bad. I think that, yeah, it's, there's definitely like a concentration of like, there's an orange tone, but Michaela comes in later and says like, I use a filter. Why um, would she intentionally look bad? No, I don't, I don't. I she don't got dressed know that. up like she's you know what I mean? She's talking about this picture here on the side. Yeah. Yeah. He says I her think, tan. I think her tan looks good. I think his tan actually looks bad. <laughs> right. Ooh. Oh, that's her. Ooh. Fucking he's got, got that him, hot dude. dog that's tan. Important, important By the way, is my tan? I just saw beef. Maybe a little I bit. Think so. well, fuck, I think so. That was advice, bro. If I walk around with a shit haircut, like, Ooh. oh, and I okay. Tell her, I don't know why I'm catching <laughs> strays. It's not going to work out. You know, you are your own advertisement. Right. Thanks, Jeff. No, he's right. He's right. Fight. All right. All right. You don't even have hair, Dan. <laughs> Whoa. I was agreeing. Stay out of this convert. Oh, okay. That's Thanks. why I don't wear hats. I was wearing hats too much. The fuck? New, New Year's resolution. I thought you were agreeing no with hats. Jeff. We, we love the ball. You look beautiful. Here I is was. my <laughs> Jesus. Dick. Message below. I say I wish I could have given her tips and talked to her more about how long to leave it on for. Is when she crazy? and I were on the phone, he's Michaela such wanted a little, to make sure kind of that my douche. tan was a rapid tan. Wait, I want to read the message you sent on her. One. Yeah. Uh, it says, "You look so beautiful, Michaela." Okay, so he's lying. Yeah. Because he thinks it looks like shit. Yeah. He said hideous. Right, he so, hates it. So fake, being a fake, F phony, fake phony, right here. <laughs> I wish I would have given you some hand application tips. You think she doesn't know how to put on makeup? Well. It's like all she does. She knows how to put on makeup. Bag. Sorry. Bag. We'll talk about it. There's Bag. more to this. It's not any more serious. Keep, keep reading, Dan. More. Okay, I wish I would have given you uh, some hand application tips, but I didn't want to bombard you with messages. Uh, I didn't even ask how dark you want to be. I just told you the dark rinse time, three hours. I'm an overthinking perfectionist, clearly, but I hope you like it in general. Heart emoji. Hand heart emoji, specifically. Okay, it's a little passive aggressive for sure. Yeah, what the fuck? I mean, if I was doing someone a favor, and this is a fat fucking favor, let's be real about it. How much do you think it costs for a brand to pay her to do an ad like this? Hundreds of thousands, I'm assuming. She's huge. She could she probably get a hundred. For Damn. sure. She could, and I'll tell you why. First of all, the makeup industry is probably the vertical with the most money in it. Oh, that's fire. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do the other side. yeah it looks good. I'm that's the sure. shot. Hell yeah, dude. Here, Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not this side. This, this one, I gotta get over here. That looks good, actually. Fuck. Tapered out. Wow. <laughs> Looking good. Third time's a charm. Let's get it. Um, as I was saying, the makeup vertical is just f overflowing with money, and uh, right. their rates that they get are going to be a lot higher than someone like me gets, right. just like general entertainment, because um, there's tons of competition to to get. Yeah. And I suppose it, it, it her content is focused on like reviewing product yeah. exactly, too. So, like so, an endorsement from her means something. It does. And it's the same with like people who make videos on YouTube, like financial advice videos mm -hmm. or videos about the stock market and shit. Their CPM rates are like literally 20 times higher. Jesus. It's insane. The money. <laughs> like I've seen dudes making like hundreds of thousands off like a million or like a very small amount of views. Huh. It was shocking. Shocking. Wow. See. That's crazy. So. She's definitely hooking her up, like, insane. If I was her and I was getting these messages after doing that, I'd be like, man, what the fuck this guy yeah. is. I hear you. All right, should we keep going? Good thing I don't do anyone favors. Right. 
<laughs> so I'll never encounter that problem. Yep. How long to leave it on for? When she and I were on the phone, Michaela wanted to make sure that my tan was a rapid tan, which it is. You leave it on one hour for light, two hours for medium, three hours for dark. She told me she doesn't like using tans that you leave on for a long time. But she told me she left on mine for 12 hours. Smooth. So I'm like, is that why it turned out so bad? Still, she tells me she loves it. If you're right, unaware pass. of this, Michaela usually posts in chronological order. So I'm like, if this is my tan, why didn't she post a review video? She said she was posting it today. Called my mom so upset. I'm like, mom, when she posts this video, no one is gonna wanna buy myself tan or like, how did it turn out this way? And then my mom said, Matt, with all the orders you've had, has anybody ever told you they look orange? Have you ever seen a photo of someone who looks orange after using Illusion Bronze? And I was like, no. And then I went back and I looked at her full body and I realized she got a spray tan. Not hold on, hold on, hold on. Her tan lie. looks- I, I'm crazy. I must be crazy. Her tan looks fine. It looks natural to me. Looks good. Right? I think with that filter, I do- I mean, like, my eyes do see orange, if I'm She's being She's looking honest. pretty orange. Well, like That's her quite arm? Orange. Where's yeah. it orange? On her what arm. What do you mean where? Right here. It's like an ombre of orange a little so bit. So just her arm and her elbow area is darker than- Okay. Yeah. All right, go on. I, when she said she was posting a review the next day, but she lied to me pretending she even used it at all. Like, why not just say I didn't get a chance to use it? Why are you saying I slept in it and I love it? So just you're say telling you didn't me have time. that she went so for and got the next a professional three spray tan and then said it's your dumb fucking three hour product? That sounds like a hookup. <laughs> That's his argument, yeah. Am I, by the way, and it's my reaction, the general reaction, are people mad at her? Um, people, people aren't taking it super, super seriously. People are obviously holding her accountable for saying that she was going to post something and didn't. And they're like, he's a small business. You have to respect a small she business. But post, no, she's though. not like canceled. But canceled. she did post. Yeah. She did post. All right, go on. Three weeks I'm stewing, I'm like, where's the review? $10,000 worth of products showed up at my house. Finally, I'm like, dumbass. listen, she doesn't know how much money I spent, so let me just tell her the situation and that it's stressing me out, and I know she'll make it right. Pause if you want to read, but basically Pause. I tell her three... <laughs> so I don't want to sound like a pest or pile on when you're not feeling great, melty face emoji. I was never planning on following up about a review at all, because like I've said, you don't owe me anything. Oh, we'll right. get close. Right. Oh, that's the end of the Doesn't conversation. Doesn't sound like he actually believes that. Yeah. But <laughs> when you texted me three weeks ago saying that you were doing it the next day, I placed a $10,000 order with you my lab moron. bigger than I've ever done before because I wanted to prepare it. I, yeah. Oh, my God. So that's made me a little stressed. Ooh. I'm super sensitive and understanding when it comes to your mental health, and it should be your number one priority always, but it... If you manage to muster up the energy for a New Year's Eve tan or something soon, I'd be super grateful. What? So this dude's like, can I get another free ad? Huh. This That's is crazy. crazy. And she has like, has she said that she who talks is taking about a their break for mental, mental health? So she, you'll see her response. I wanted to Whoa. let her. Her know interactions that. with him are really nice. I think I, she does seem very kind. To him. And his interactions okay. are super passive. Here, he finally moved himself. I wanted to see what he or. What the response was. Oh Go my ahead. god. Well, the good news is you'll have the stock when the video is posted. I didn't have time to do the review that day, so I decided to just try it and see what I thought. And then the next hand, I'll film the review when I have more time. I didn't want to rush it and be shitty. So wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So this video that he's upset about, this, is not the review. It's the one where she's wearing the tan. So did she do a review? Not... <laughs> You'll see her response to this because she didn't do it after obviously this video. Okay. So, uh, oh, he was waiting for her to do a review and then he dropped this. Oh, what an idiot! He's blowing it. God, he's blowing it big a time. Moron. Shit happens, man. You got to roll with the punches he a little blew bit better. It. Yeah, um, dude. You blew it. Oh, <laughs> you blew it, Viv. <laughs> I still don't. But just to confirm, so this video that he's upset about, where she looks super orange. Was his product even identified in this video? 
She's like, just assuming. Let me pull it up. For some reason, it's a spray tan. I don't know what's her. He's assuming it's a spray tan. Is. In his next video, his follow up. All right, let's Kayla's go. I'm into this. Okay, this... you can watch it. Yeah, okay. I'm into this. All right, all right. I'm going. No, back. don't skip. What are you? No, what? I'm... <laughs> I have gone back. I have gone back. I'm right. getting back to where we were. Thank you. <laughs> Find the energy to do a New Year's Eve tan. I would really appreciate it. Thank oh my you, God. Well, the good news is you'll have to stop when the video Zach, is posted. Play the... She told me back she to didn't have time to make a review when she originally used the product, even though I now know she didn't use the product at all. Well, she did find the time to do a New Year's Eve tan. Now I'm going to do my base. I am going to match myself tan. But for some reason, she chose not to review mine in that moment, even knowing there was $10,000 worth of products sitting in my home. Now it's the second week anything. of January, two weeks since I've told her about this, and she's gotten another spray tan. So she said she was posting it ASAP in October. The first week of December, she said, I'm posting the review tomorrow. Two weeks ago, I told her because she said that I ordered $10,000 worth of product. And she's had two tans since then, and not once did it cross her mind, hey, I really should post that review. This guy has all this product sitting oh in his house God. because of what I said to him. She doesn't care about this me, sucks. my mental health, my finances, what? my stress, but she expects- No. You gonna put no. all that on her, dummy? No, she doesn't, and she doesn't Jeez. need to, man. <laughs> Everyone Bro, else to care about her out. mental health. That. Not the only one, babe. <laughs> You're not the only one. I'm telling you guys oh, this now because God. last night people were commenting. This guy sucks. Yeah, he sucks. She don't know yeah. you shit, bro. You <laughs> for your misfortune. Right, Jeff. You blew it. You blew it. Wow, this guy wow. sucks. I'm full yeah, team Michaela right now, but let's keep watching. <laughs> All right. On Almost her videos end. saying, I support Matthew's small business, review Illusion Bronze. She responded, no. She responded, shut up. And she started blocking people. I've got what? 10K worth of product in my home. So if you'd like to start out your new year with the only custom tan, please visit Illusion Bronze. And if you're not somebody who uses self tanner or can't afford it, please follow me. That's the biggest thing that you can do to help. I want to uh, make sure that I am doing what I can to highlight small businesses this year for no compensation. We, gotta save we need to Matt be helping Stevens. each other in 2024, not just ourselves. We got to go Ugh. follow him, man. Uh, somebody said, is he related to Jake Doolittle? <laughs> oh, that's good. Oops! Guy needs to get hit by a crane. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> A crane <laughs> fucking smashed him right in his head. All right, where do we go from here? Do we, uh... Her response. Her video? This one right here? Yes. Okay. I hope she brings the hammer down. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what the response is. So that video got a lot of views. It got... 13 and a half million. Yeah. And, and was the reaction split on that? The re people were mad that she said that she was gonna post, but Seriously? obviously a lot of the feedback was she doesn't owe you a review. So, people were never taking this drama like super duper duper seriously. Like Michaela's career was never in jeopardy. The, the stakes are this. relatively low. Sure, yeah. but yeah. I mean, no, I know, but this guy. Like, I mean, listen, it's his business. It matters to listen, him. You know. Sure, that's fair. He conducted himself poorly. Yeah, I agree. You could argue that. He's sure. just okay. Go ahead. All right, let's see what. Let's you debate him. Really like Matthew. Matthew's good. a really nice guy. I've good. had good yeah, conversations good with fun. him. Well, I find it really unfortunate that he decided to take this issue to TikTok and fabricate a lie in order to prove a point. Am I entirely wrong that I didn't review the Tana when I said I would? Yes. Did I mention to him that I didn't get to it? Yes. But still, nonetheless, I should have reviewed the Tana sooner. But to fabricate a lie that when I told him I used his Tana, he says I lied to him and used a spray tan. I've never gotten a spray tan in my life. I, I'd like to brief with that. Second of all, the reason that the tan appeared orange is the same reason I look kind of like really warm and orangey right now. The video has color graded on it. Okay. There. I was going to point that out, yeah. but I didn't want to, I don't know enough about tanning and what can happen or whatever, but judging, can you, judging sorry, the color just you, off of photograph is... Because hmm? he's just, he's just going to be collecting my hair. We'll shave him next. So you could you just <laughs> scoop him, put him in his bed. He'll be happy. He's going to get a low taper fit, dude. Sorry, Dan. Go ahead. Anyways, white balance is a thing, and, uh, you know, it can definitely, specifically orange, uh, make your skin tone look much oranger mm. if you're not calibrated correctly. Okay. So that, her excuse here checks out to me. And she does, she's so an example. Okay. If I 
take the color grading off of my video, let me show you what I look like. And this was just in a video of me showing my outfit. So Why would she lie if I did a video it? using the Tana, it wouldn't have color grading on it, but it was just a random video. So let me take the color grading off and show you what I actually look like. This is with the color grading off. Totally different. And yes, I have this I Tana on and I'm not orange. And you didn't notice a difference? Here, let me uh, kind of AB yes, it video. back and forth. So let me get okay, a there. video using the Tana. It wouldn't have color grading on it, but it was just a random video. So let me take the color grading off and show you what I actually look like. This is... Yeah, it's significantly less saturated. Oh, thanks. Okay, yeah. With the color grading off. Totally different. And yes, I have this Tana on, and I'm not orange at all. And I've never gotten a spray tan, and I didn't lie. Again, I am completely in the wrong because I should not have told Matthew, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, when I when tomorrow came and I couldn't do it. And I did tell him. I did tell him I wasn't able to get to it because I was in a rush. But I was going to get to it. I always get to it. It just sometimes takes a bit. Anyways, he messages me again around, you know, New Year's and lets me know that he had purchased 10,000 units or $10,000 worth of Tana, which... I did not advise him to do that. <laughs> that is a business decision that he made. Fact of the matter is, I didn't get to it yet. That's it. I, if you look at my track record of Tana videos, the, t making a Tana video is different than me sitting at my beauty desk. I do them like once or twice a year. And I don't tan often at all. Last year I tanned maybe three, four times. So I know that like four months has gone by since I said I would do the review. But I just don't tan a lot and I don't make tan in videos a lot. He cannot rely on me for the success of his brand. He just can't. I just, I don't know what to do in this situation, but I am sorry. <laughs> it's crazy that he posted that video while waiting for her to post the review of his tanner. She when she was, said in text to him that she loved it. She was way too nice. I agree. She was Sorry nice. for what? She admitted oh. fault for... For, for not posting. For not posting it, too. Like, just straight up, that was my fault. I mean, yeah, so, she... I don't know. What do we rate that apology fault. as the apology came? I don't... I mean, it, it... She didn't need to apologize. It wasn't an apology. It's and it shouldn't have been. It's not her fault. I'm not even gonna rate it, because she's so... fucking... right. Uh, <laughs> these are her... I guess her comments are just, uh... A lot of, uh, people about... Asking about it. Well, I'm losing my mind that people are actually supporting this guy. I mean, uh, he, he, he was so manipulative. You're looking just like Paulie. Let's go, my boy. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. Wow. Get some of that good shit in there. <laughs> What's the product you want to plug? Just a tiny little bit. Where can people get your new products at? Pomade. You get them on Amazon. They're all available on Amazon. Oh, you're selling them through, through Amazon? We have a website, but the hair oil that I'm about to use next, it's going to fucking blow your mind. Oh, yeah? I'm going to fucking review it like this guy, so Tana. <laughs> <laughs> so it's exclusive We're to Amazon? Go I'm going to make, if you don't review it right now, I'm going to make a whole TikTok. <laughs> what's the, uh, what's the name again? I'll pull it up. Uh, of the products? Yeah. It's Jeff's Barbershop. I love the palm paint. You brought it in here, I think, last time. Yeah, yeah. I've been using it since. I, I use that. it all the time, too, Jeff. Thank you guys. I Love ordered that. the hair oil and I just got notified that it just arrived. I have one for you here. Oh, wait. Oh, yay. I only have one though because my friend's been taking them from my house. So you're cool with people buying on Amazon? Is it not better for you to buy directly or you just sell it on Amazon? It's better to buy directly. I'll make more money on my website, but I just like having it available on Amazon. Okay. Cool. All right. Here Check me out, dude. Here it is. It's this stuff, right? That's the oil. Oh, that's a lot of oil. Jeff, is this it? Yeah, that's it. So what is hair oil? Look at those reviews, baby. Send the foot soldiers. Woo! Lot those reviews, guys. You can it rate it. Good. They are great products. I smells good. That. You can rate it up to five stars. That's what we always say. Yeah, exactly. Um, what is hair oil, Jeff? So you know how your hair like looks a little dead and frizzy in some spots? Sure. This is just giving it that healthy, it's basically putting back in the natural oils that your hair okay stripped when you shampoo you know do you shampoo often uh every few days yeah so it just takes the little flyaways away mm -hmm. and gives you a nice healthy shine smell nice and overall hair health 
Let me get a close up of this AV, uh, AV or whoever's got the cam. You're looking good. He's coming. I think he wanted to see. Can't Whoa. do that to you. I didn't. I didn't. Whatever. Yo, check me out right now, you guys. Okay, yeah. everyone's gonna be posting this. Chad Ethan, watch. Chad Ethan, right here, y'all. Fucking part of the family now. Yeah, yeah. Let me see the other side. Do it. Do it with 360. Let me see the back. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's clean. Oh, yeah, boy. She. I can't wait till my head turns all gray. Shh. It's getting. I'm getting a couple, but this right here, I can't wait for that time. Right? You'll get there. After a few more cancellations. What? Oh. Thank you. Our people. <laughs> Just wrong button. Wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> we have an Italian there, button. There we go. <laughs> What do you think? You like it? I like I like it a lot. Scale of one to ten. Let me see it again, Abby. Give me a, some close-ups here. Love the the fade looks real nice. Give me. I don't. I like how it looks. Like I would never cut my hot my hair this high, but I like how it looks. Is it, Let me see the hairline. I just slightly touched it up. I didn't want to go into the widow's peak too much because I know you're not going to keep up with it. No. I want to go with a real natural look. All my products, you only need a tiny little bit of them. You don't have to glob up. This is not going to. You know, you have that old gel that gets all flaky and stuff. Sure. You'll never have any of that with any of my products. Nice. It looks like you're naturally perfect. Look at that. Goal. Fuck yeah. Hey. That's a 10 out of 10. Man, that's, 10 that's a 10. perfect haircut. 10 10. I love that. All right, let's get this. is my favorite part of the haircut. You're going to want to see this. This is satisfying right here. For all you ASMR freaks out there. <laughs> Real close. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Don't you want to just see that? Oh, that last bit. Oh, yeah. I get what you mean. That oh. is satisfying. That must feel nice too, huh? You can... it feels, like it feels fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it so feels look, real look good, doesn't it? Look at that one. It's a nice chunk. Woo! I don't like look at that chunk. Get that out of there. Gross, you know? Ooh, oh, clean yeah. it up. It's like clean. watching uh, power washing uh, videos. Like clean yep. the sidewalk. Mm. Nice. <laughs> nice. I know. I got a youthful back of the dome. Uh huh. If you don't show your face, you'd be 10 years younger, man. And then this is uh, a Manscaped shaver, so... Oh, I have that same one. Are you sponsored by them? I was, before I lost all my sponsors. <laughs> Did you lose all your sponsors? Yeah, I took something about Ben Shapiro. Happened a couple of years ago. Really? All of them. No, not all of them, but we did lose a lot. Well, Manscaped, come back and sponsor him. Look. That's what I'm you saying, right? man. Well, I'm using it on him. There you go. Well, I think they're, start they're slowly maybe they're thinking about back. coming back. Yeah. yeah. I'm tight. I'm like this with Manscaped. I like. Well, I worked with up. them a lot in the past. Yeah. They're good people. Yeah, their stuff works too. You don't snip your nuts. No blood in the shower. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, yeah, baby. Excellent. Going through a tough time of my video getting age restricted and crushed for all my hard work, but this moment right here makes up for all that. Wow. Nice. And the joy in your face. I'm glad we could, we could confidence, help. Confidence. The newfound confidence. Wow. I love it. You look like you're 27 years old. It's insane. Unbelievable. Check me out, dude. You're good. Unbelievable. I'm a good old boy. Good. I'm glad you like it. I'm gonna go wash this stuff off my hands. So I guess let's finish the Michaela story and then we can get. And then out wrap of here. it up because it's getting light. Where did Michaela? Where did my tabs go? Uh, what well, we watched? People are defending. We watched her response. That that was that. So is that it? No, there's one more. Matthew. He comes back. Then came back for another round. So let's see the response to the response. Now. Michaela just posted a response to my TikTok. I want to be very clear about why I made the decision. I took out a quarter million dollar loan while waiting for this response <laughs> in anticipation of her apologizing. And I now maxed I'm out. Fucked. I went to every bank and got all the cards yep. available and maxed them all out on I QuickBooks. Bought, I bought four <laughs> Airbnbs in the last 24 hours knowing that this <laughs> video was coming. my makeup in. Yep. In anticipation. To post that. <laughs> That video the day before yesterday my followers were commenting on one of Michaela's videos about her reviewing illusion bronze and Michaela made the decision to respond to them and say things like no and shut up and proceeded to block a lot of people well, hold on, hold on. she said things like no 
What? She's known for trolling in the comments. No. Hold on, hold on. What is wrong with saying no? But yeah, what's wrong with like, saying what, no? About what? Did she say like... Uh, no. What what was the question? It was the, review illusion Bronx. Yeah, it was people spamming. Oh. Is those comments like we were just looking at a moment ago? Well, she said no. Well, good for her. I, I agree. Good for her. Hump, Advocate bro. for yourself. That really you got triggered your club. me you got because your club. two weeks ago was when I told Michaela that I had spent ten thousand dollars on product. No, Michaela did not tell me to spend ten thousand dollars on product. Right, we got but that. her knowing that I had just spent all that money on product, why is she oh, responding to people in her comment section up. saying things like no and shut up and blocking them? Because you're annoying. You're totally that, I know the answer. Well and also the timeline, he's like rewriting history a bit. He took out the loan, was waiting on her, and then he told her about the loan after he had already got it, and after he was waiting for a while, he wasn't like upfront, like, "Hey, I'm gonna do ten thousand before." Is that cool? Like, like, sorry, bro. What the fuck, man? You did something dumb. That doesn't entitle you to anything except the consequences of your own actions. God, right. I hate this guy. <laughs> All right. That was a beautiful way that you said that. Oh, Only the consequences of your own actions. Thank you. Yeah. So, Michaela, that is why I posted that video. I really like Matthew. Matthew's a really nice guy. She's I've had good conversations so nice. with him. But I find it really unfortunate that he decided to take this issue to TikTok and fabricate a lie in order to prove a point. Am I entirely wrong that I didn't review the Tana when I said I would? Yes. Did I mention to him that I didn't get to it? Yes. But still, nonetheless, I should have reviewed the Tana sooner. But to fabricate a lie that when I told him I used his tanner, he says I lied to him and used a spray tan. I've never gotten a spray tan in my life. I, I'd like to brief with that. If Michaela is saying that she didn't get a spray tan, I'm not going to double down. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I apologize for that. See, I've been airbrush tanning people for half of my life. And there's something called either a heavy hand or a light hand when you're airbrushing. And when somebody has a heavy hand, it's usually a bad spray tan or somebody inexperienced. They'll start out on one part of the arm, the higher part light, and then it gets really heavy as they pull down. And as somebody who's spray tanned a lot of people, that's what it appeared like to me. But <laughs> like she said, that's not true. Second of all, that is the, the reason thing that the heard. tan appeared Go back. orange I, I... He it's goes, I'm not going to double down. I'm not going to argue. And he, then he goes in and explains how professionally he is able to tell that he's right. <laughs> that's such bullshit, dude. This guy sucks. <laughs> what is wrong with the world where people watch these and thought he's in the right? Like, I don't understand the world we're living in. Why is this, this behavior being rewarded? God damn. I feel bad for I feel bad. For you who? Know, for him that he... I don't feel bad for him at all, man. Yo, has Pokemon called back or Did anything? It, any any word for uh, Let me check if I've heard back from Pokemon. Because if not, I, my business is done here. I could leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no word from Pokey, I'm afraid. Well, in, I'll, work on, ghosted, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. No, it's rough. It, it, it's, this is what I figured. You know, this is what I signed up for. The first rejection. The first rejection. Yeah, it hurts. It humbles you at the beginning. I've been I've been humbled enough. You'll get used you to know. it. So Jeff, thank you so much. That was awesome. Of course. Thanks for having me. And I'll see thank you Jeff. tomorrow at twelve. Yeah, you want to do twelve? That's I mean, whatever you want to do a different time? One, maybe? Sure. One o'clock. That'd One's be good. We didn't know Can you update we, that, Lena? Uh because we don't know Absolutely. how to do a live show. We've never done one before and we But you say you do it live on Patreon, isn't the it's same? It's completely thing? different. No, because uh Dan, you should know. I guess you have to set up 24 hours in advance to allow your channel to go live. You don't have to. Oh. That's just an option. No, no, no. If it's never been enabled at all. Yeah. Oh. So we, yes. we've never even... Oh. So you're at that stage. I'm, I'm terrified about it. I'm, uh, we don't have to do a live. It. No, let's do a live. Let's do it. Okay. It's about time. And who better to start with than if you? If you guys you need... Know? Who better? I, I've done this once or twice. I can, I can help if point you in the right direction you if you're talking oh, yeah. about anything. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm sure Oscar would love that, you know? We look up to you guys. Your crew is solid. Oh, thank what, you. What you did, thank you guys. what you've done so far, and that show at the end of the year. Yeah, that was good. Despite my uh, co host sabotage. You were great. You <laughs> You're were good. great. It was fun. No yeah. problem. Yeah, so um, tomorrow at one. Okay. And then, guys, Jeff's Barbershop. Let's support. Thank you. 
you. I appreciate that. And are you available to do haircuts? I, I didn't come here for that. Uh, I know you didn't. I know you didn't. Today, I'm just trying I to appreciate the plug. Yeah. Um, if someone wanted a haircut from you specifically, what's the? Or can they do that? To like, you know, premium. Uh, you know what I mean? Just, you're better off going to a barbershop at yeah. this point. You know, <laughs> like it's hard to track me down. You know, then I'm gonna have people. You're gonna like be like this, Michaela, videos yeah, exactly. on me and stuff. He said he was gonna cut my hair this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know, you could get a good haircut. Go to like a, find a Dominican guy. Dominicans are the best. Oh, for at real? Hair. Yeah, you want a nice lineup. Like, nice. guy doesn't even speak English. That's the guy you need to be going it's a to, good to lead. get your haircut. It's a good lead. Yeah, but it was a pleasure. Nice to see you, me. Cody. Um, I love that that relationship has been mended. You know? <laughs> yeah, me and Cody are we're dogs now. I said we're dogs now. Uh, yeah. Sam, was this- Yeah, 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 I know. Sam, was this you that yeah. you wanted the hair oil? I'll leave this over here. Oh, nice on that red hair, too. That's gonna there work. There you go. Nice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Very good. Um... Oh, thanks, man. Cody says I look ten times younger. Yeah. I should keep it like this. I, I don't ever get, a, like, real haircuts. I mean, ever. <laughs> yeah. It's true, he must have already <laughs> But also we're together a lot, and I don't. You yeah, know. you know. Come I'll on. leave that razor blade there, that dirty razor blade. Got it. If you want to give it away to one of your fans or something, <laughs> no. send that out there. Definitely not. That'll be a nice. Keep gift. the DNA in house. I did that to Hassan when I cut his hair. You saved his DNA. I saved all his hair when he had the long hair, <laughs> and somebody that bought a pomade, I mailed them his hair. How did you know that they <laughs> wanted his hair? Because I, on the stream, I was like, whoever buys a pomade right now, I'm looking at all the sales of like a <laughs> random guy, and I picked this guy named said, Bryce, and I actually, we actually nailed him the hair. So did you Hassan, hear back from him? I mean, Hassan could be on, uh, like, going on a murder trial or something soon, because- Bryce he, has got it. He could be framed. Did you ever hear from Bryce? <laughs> no, we just anonymously oh, nailed uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. I don't awesome. know. Uh-oh. That awesome. hair went somewhere. It's somewhere. That DNA went somewhere, Hassan, so watch your back. That's right. I would, I would Golden State attorney. killer. I would speak to an attorney <laughs> right away. All right, let's, uh, let's push through this. As you're bye, Jeff. Up. All right, bye, guys. Are you all good? Thanks, man. Jeff, everybody. It's Jeff. Jeff FM. It's Jeff. Jeff Jeff's FM. Barbershop. Jeff everywhere. It's Jeffrey? Family. Full name's Jeffrey? Nice. Jeffrey. Right, guys. Is that an Italian uh, name? Jeffrey? Uh, no. My Not mother named us all terrible names. She's <laughs> Karen. Her <laughs> life is miserable. <laughs> is she feeling the effects of the Karen phenomenon? Oh, yeah. She, she got in a fight with a guy. Cause oh, no. Her Karen making fun of her. Oh, she, 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 got, she gets in fights? She does jujitsu. Yeah. Oh, your sister's girl. a badass? Yeah. Holy fuck. Watch out who you calling Karen out there. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Love you guys. Family. See you, man. See you tomorrow. See you, dude. All right, go ahead with the... All right, we're almost done. Yeah. I'm, like, really warm and orangey right now. The video has color grading on it. So if I take the color grading off of my video, let me show you what I look like. And this was just in a video of me showing my outfit. So if I did a video using the Tana, it wouldn't have color grading on it, but... It was just a random video. So let me take the color grading off and show you what I actually look like. This is with the color grading off. Totally different. And yes, I have this tan on, and I'm not orange at all. And I've never gotten a spray tan, and I didn't lie. Again, I am completely in the wrong because I should not have told Matthew, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, when, I, when tomorrow came and I couldn't do it. And I did tell him. I did tell him I wasn't able to get to it because I was in a rush. But I was going to get to it. I always get to it. It just sometimes takes a bit. I just want to clarify again. When she told me she was posting it tomorrow, she did not the next day tell me, oh, I'm so sorry. I was so busy. I didn't get to it. She didn't tell me that until three weeks later when I contacted her. Who cares? Hey, you said you were posting this the next day. I bought all this product. Then she said, oh, I'm sorry. I was too busy. I didn't get to it. Anyways, he messages me again around. Dude, you know, do you know how important is. you are? Like on her day to day life, do you know how important you are compared to everything else? Like fucking zero. You're at the bottom of the list, dude. Like, what the fuck? He thinks that her whole day and week and life should be revolving around this ad for him. I'm losing my mind. Unless we know that he had purchased 10,000 units or $10,000 worth of Tana, which. 
I did not advise him to do that. That is a business decision that he made. Michaela did not advise me to do that, and I 100% did that on my own, and here is why. I used to review indie brands all the time. When I was making okay, those so indie brand review videos, you know, 90 to 100% of the time, the product would sell out. Um, there's been a few instances where the indie brand cannot handle the the capacity to fulfill all of those orders. There have been cases where I sold out a product and the brand got greedy and sounds put like someone else product back in stock, but Ooh. it wasn't back in stock Ooh. and people ordered it and then waited months to receive it because this indie brand was dishonest had people buying a product that wasn't even in stock. Does that video explain to you guys at all when she texted me on her own, out of the blue? A little bit. Hey, I'm posting a review tomorrow that I would go and purchase a lot of products. No, the is, it's still his dumb all. ass fault. Listen, bro. I mean, I guess I... <laughs> no, because she already said she was going to review it. He, she was saying, I don't review these brands anymore because of this happened. But right. she already told him she was going to review it. Uh-huh. So he could just sell out and market as sold out. He didn't have to risk his ass and get right. $10,000. Yeah, he took a gamble out. with that. And there's no guarantee that, I mean, I guess it's fairly guaranteed that he would get some sort of Listen, bro. sales boost from her plug. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. Bro. Take out a loan. Look, at the end of the day. It's your life. It's your business. You're the one that's got to look out for yourself. Come on, man. Give me a break. True. I'm anti this guy. I'm anti Stevens. Go ahead. I didn't get to it yet. That's it. This final part of the video is the only part that really pissed me off. Oh, I will say okay. almost no one in my comment. What part pissed him off? Oops section was defending Michaela, but the two or three people said the exact same thing, which she regurgitated. He can't rely on her for the success of his business. Uh, he cannot yeah. rely on me for the success of his brand. He just can't. I just, I don't know what to do in this situation, but I am sorry. My business did very well last year. So then what the fuck's Michaela. the problem? I was not if your business is doing so the well, then what is your, business, why don't you just shut the fuck up? Like, I'm sorry. I'm team Michaela, bro. Damn. Come on. Am I the only one? No, I agree. No, with no, you. I'm definitely uh, leaning you. towards her uh, side of the argument in this. Um, by the way, got some intel from our boy Rich Lux. Oh, for real? Yeah, donated $20. Hi, uh, Rich. Super we chat, love said, you. This guy is Mariah Carey's ex assistant. No cap. He talks about it in other TikToks how he's working for Mariah Carey. No, no, no. You don't want to talk that, about 9-11. <laughs> that's an interesting tidbit, Rich. That is an interesting little tidbit. Thank you, Rich. Hmm. I wonder why he got fired. My God, miss you, Rich. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> All right, there's like 10 seconds that I've worked on special. for six or seven years. This is just about when you say you're going to do something, just do it. I think it's called integrity. Oh, my God. Oh, bro. I... I Listen, Michaela, I'm sorry you had to deal with this guy. And she was so nice about it. Honestly, she apologized. She said I was wrong. She exp she didn't really go after him, which she could have. You know, I would have. Right. That would have been right. that would have been war in my world. But right. she was she was classy. Oh fuck yeah, dude. Me and the boys. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> right. Dude. Me and the boys. I gotta start doing a DJ set. I can't believe Jeff was on. Jersey Shore, I know, like I, Jersey Shore adjacent. Yeah, stuff. I didn't know that. How interesting. <sighs> All right, are we team Steve? Are we team Steven? Or are we team Michaela? We got. Let's do a poll. Don't you dare vote for Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, are you're. I you team Michaela. Michaela, I understand that you're watching this show. At least she said that she watches. Are you Team Michaela or Team what was the other guy? Steven? Steven? Steve, Steven, whatever his name is. You get to meet Ethan Klein, who I'm no, a it's huge fan of. I love the Matthew H3 Steven. podcast. We love you, Michaela. Are we team Michaela or Team Matthew? Someone say Ethan's a hot girl now. He doesn't have time for this bullshit. True. Should we give a neither option? Or you have to pick a side. You here? could say neutral. 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 You know? Nice. Good poll.
Yeah, that's a good poll. Okay. All right, everybody, let's get the polls in. This is going to cap go. off the day. Yep. We're going to get to the bottom of this. You know how I feel about it. This fucking guy with his miracle spray tan. Three day, three hours. Give me a break. It's... It's sounding... So try it. He got his plug. You know what I mean? He's mm -hmm. still bitching and he got like a 13 million view video. What the hell, Ducky? Just bit me. For no reason. <laughs> He just starts playing and <laughs> just nibbled my leg. Well, Michaela is in a strong lead here, and I gotta say, neutral is in second place. It doesn't look like Matthew is getting all that much support. Thank here. Although one in ten audience members thinks that Matthew. Ten is the, the anomaly, right. though. Like you could be like, do you sh poop in your hand and then eat it? And ten percent. It's the one in yes. ten uh, doctors thing. Like don't <laughs> exactly, recommend brushing. Exactly. Yeah. Ten percent is pretty much nothing, and I'm happy to see that. You know what I mean? Ten percent is nothing. Oh, she's best friends with James, people are saying? Eh, well, we're not all perfect, are we? That is some bullshit. <laughs> Apparently that's a problem in the industry I learned from Tana. They're like scared of him, like, she, or not they, but she was like, I just want peace with him. I was like, peace with Germany during the fucking, when they're invading Poland, girl, it's time to pick a side. Death to the Jews. <laughs> Easy, Ben. You can't just throw that out there, casually. <laughs> I got in trouble for, st and now look who's saying the crazy shit now, man. Right. Play the whole thing, Zach. Allahu Akbar, death to America, death to the Jews, death to Israel. <laughs> that, that one's good. That's I so love, good. Yeah, it's so good. All right, we're at 345. Let's get the hell I feel like I'm not me. Uh, I mean. You're you. Jesus. You're you. Don't, you're, you're so you. It seems mm -hmm. high. It seemed high on the top, or does it seem important? It's supposed to be high. It's I mean, that's kind of. It's a high cut. I mean, you got it when you cut it all off the sides. You know, you're rectangular right now, dude. Yeah. You're hella rectangular. Very vertical. When Cody was sitting next to me, he was a really nice guy, by the way. But when I was sitting next to him, his bicep was like bigger than half my body. He's huge. Yeah, and I don't know if I've ever said this on the show, but uh, that night, whenever he came by your house, um, I, I went out by your house to to be on patrol. I never told you and Ela that. What? Yeah. <laughs> Me and Lena, Lena was in the car and I made her come with me. Is this one of the things that's true? Or? No, no, this is, is this, true. This is, is this true. a Michael Jackson? No, no. Lena, could, Lena could verify. That's true. That's what's up. I mean, I didn't know what I was going to do, but looking you, at him, it's like, You didn't know God. what you were looking at. Huh? Do you have a weapon or something? No, that's what I'm saying. I didn't have nothing. So, I, But <laughs> I don't even think my car, it was Lena's old Chevy Volt too. So I don't think we could have done shit. I think the car wouldn't have hurt him. So <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad we're all cool <laughs> The car would have buckled. <laughs> Oh, that's good shit. You guys hear that? that it's so Dim funny. Vigilante. Uh, Dude, y'all really care. out there. Y'all really care about me. Wow. Love that. that was I was out there too with, yeah. a, me with too. a gun. <laughs> I was. Yeah. I had a firearm. Yeah. yeah. And I was, I was monitoring with a drone. Yep. I, I was out there too. too. Yeah. I was there. Wow, you guys are the best. <laughs> I was, but I was there to crash your pool. I was just swimming. Yeah, it was coincidentally just was in the neighborhood. He wanted to go for. Love was in the pool house. Throst was there too. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are the best. Throst was there? Yeah. I didn't see him while I was no. walking around with my firearm. <laughs> Y'all make jokes, but one day you're going to need help. And you're going to look up and it's just going to be me there. The, yeah, yeah, I yeah. I don't care. You know, I would have been happy to see you if I was getting like choked out by Cody. <laughs> For sure. I'd be like, choke That's him so I can run. <laughs> That's very, that's very sweet. I took a life insurance plan out on you. I didn't tell you, AB. Because you're doing all this, you're doing all the superhero shit, getting babies out of burning cars. So I thought, hey, it's probably a good bet. If he yeah. dies, I'm going to get big. I'm going to get big money. By the way, that's a joke, but I don't know if we've talked about it, but there's companies doing that. And it was like a huge scandal. Yeah. They were taking out life insurance on their employees, not telling them or their family. Mm -hmm. And then when they died... They kept the money and didn't tell the family or anything. How fucking crazy. Yeah. Pretty wild. That's nuts, man. Yeah, America, baby. Oh, yeah. Yikes. My yeah. boss has a, a vested interest in me dying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not Good a conflict. Move. All right, everybody. Wow, it's been a fun episode. Thanks, everyone, for being here. We had a magical, fun episode. It's nice to see Jeff. I will be there tomorrow, my friend, which I, so here's the thing. I will not be doing a members tomorrow because I'm going to be doing Jeff's live. He was very kind and he, he, I asked him to do live so that, you know, the people could watch. 
and uh, he was very gracious to uh, accommodate. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow at one. And uh, but next week Thursday we'll be back. See you next Tuesday. Uh, we'll be back Thursday. on. So are we still right. calling it See You Next Tuesday? Thursday. Um, it's See You Next Thursday. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll update the thumbnail. For yeah. <laughs> and then um, Friday we've got, we got something fun on Friday? If you look at the chat. I thought we had something fun on Friday. Wait, there's a BTS on Friday. BTS is here? That's right. Wow. K-pop that's... concert here on the H3 Podcast. <laughs> Get hyped. Here it is. I mean... This is a pretty good, it's a pretty good representation. I mean, mine looks clean, dude. You know what I mean? It's better. It's better, better than Ninja's. Way better. Ninja sucks. Do you want to dye your hair blue? Oh my god. You get temporary spray. <laughs> Nin- Ninja blue. <laughs> all right, everyone. So thanks to everybody. Thanks to all our members. Thank you to all our supporters. Thank you to everybody that's watching. It's all great. Love it all. And, uh, shh, damn, condolences to fake Logan Paul. Apparently got his ass beat. Let me just, let me just do this. Eat him. We gotta go. Here. Here. Oh, God, that didn't look good at all. Okay, that's all I want to see. Kev, okay. Kev website is fixed, too, by the way. It's back? So, <laughs> when I added Cloudflare on it, it redirected to the www, where, uh, version of the website instead of the non-www so i've changed that back so it should slowly gain okay it good should in theory gain the right good. back yeah i mean the fa- <laughs> brian kavanaugh h3 podcast wiki fandom is higher yeah shout out to brody pointing that out i fixed that asap appreciate that all right everyone we'll see you on tomorrow or friday depending on uh it's up to you guys it's up to you all right see y'all thanks for watching <laughs>